so this was a pain in the ass to uh, um, set up. For some reason, my normal game capture wasn't, it wasn't working. So I switched to screen capture. Everything seems to be working fine, but I, I don't know. If it doesn't work, uh, just scream in the chat that it's not working. So uh, this is Dial Town. It's a game where you date phones. Um, no, I'm not insane, at least not yet. This is gonna be fun. Select a go, 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 what? Go, god of full chapter to experience. Go, oh, god awful. Uh, 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 okay. Arrow keys, wasp, move cursor. Enter left mouse space to select S to right mouse back. This is bring the queen. F4 toggle full screen. Shift bring up conversation log. Q skip dialogue. These keybinds can be altered in the option menu. Oh god, this is so much to remember. Uh, move. Uh, so select. Uh, 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 okay, okay. Uh, uh, back. Toggle full screen. What the fuck? Hello. Hello. Welcome to Dial Town. Phone dating some demo. You must now answer this pound's question Z. Is there a particular right reason why you're speaking to me in all caps? Wait. Am I me right now? Or me right now? This What's your name? Uh... Really? That's your name? It's a beautiful name. Oh, hun, I'm so sorry. What's that supposed to mean? Mm, no, don't look at this. That's just how God made me, dog. Uh. I am God. Oh. Anywho, second question. Select the head. No, head selection only affects compatibility with dateable characters and doesn't directly indicate gender. That's the next question. Is that- is that- is it made of skin? What the- oh my god! Well, if I choose this phone, then I can- then I can take off my little phone thing, right? And just hit people with it, so yeah. Aha, nice. Enjoy having telemarketers living in your head. Well, I'd rather be a phone than a fucking dog. <laughs> my greatest part is remembering where I buried my old breadsticks at any given time. Please reevaluate re re your life choices thusly. Now, final question. The boy, he, him, he, the girl, Dawn, they, them, their, other, enter... Um, <laughs> what the fuck is this? Uh, which one do I want to be? Is that a fucking dodo? <laughs> yeah, I want to be a dodo. I want to. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Not sure what to, what to fill in on this line of the of the questionnaire. Questionnaire, there's no paper, you just ask any questions. Do not question the hound! Warning, NTCs will be by your species. Goblin, where perfect gender neutral equivalent terms are not readily available. Thanks, daddy dog. What the fuck? What did I say about chal calling me? What? What? Chal calling? I don't know. Alright then, get out of my sight. Alright. By the way, while looking for dating sims, I found like what Hmm You sinful creature. Seems I'm alive again. <laughs> Darn. 
I hate it when I do that. <laughs> hmm. My non-specific reproductive organs are firm and ripe. <laughs> Must be getting ready to hatch. It's time for re the time for reproduction is now. I must find a dank, dark pit to lay my eggs in. Fairground. Fairground is dark, dank, and greasy. Plentiful, plentiful supply of carnival, carnival food nearby. Yes. I must go to the carnival. Mission gained. Go to the fun fair. Well, there we have it. The carnival. So close yet so far. Must go- must gain entry. Must penetrate defenses of mile-high railings. I mean, those railings are hardly a mile high. Bastard narrator! I need- need lay eggs! Well, you could always, you know, go through the main gate. A plan so crazy, it just might work. Don't bang on the glass, it scares Jerry. No refunds, two for one. Greetings, ticket buffoon. My name is Jerry, but okay, my green acquaintance. How can I help you today? I wish to gain entry, entrance, Jerry of Ticket Booth. Well, do you wish to buy a ticklet? Tick, ticklet, what the fuck? <laughs> ticket, goblin. That's nah, fine. I don't want I don't want to piss behind any of, any of your rides this year. I simply wish to find a fetid hole to lay my eggs in. Okay, you definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you want to do that. Rats! How much will that cost? Two dollars. Fudge, I have zero dollars. Tell me, young squire. Would you accept tales, stories, and other such whimsical parables as payment? No. No, I would not. Aw, oh, shoot. I was so close, too. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you that gremlin who lives in a tent next to the playground at the park? Oh, no! My cover has been blown! Look, goblin beast of indiscriminate species and gender, I'm only telling you this because your stench is going to drive away customers if I let you loiter around here uninhibited for any longer. It's Valentine's Day today. No, it's not. Valen, what? Is that, is that for romantic people? Yeah, but... Didn't you say you have eggs to lay or some other bizarre, bizarre dri dri drivel to that effect? Surely you have a mate of some kind if you're getting ready to lay eggs. The sock under my mattress count? Ugh! Nah, I'm a loner. Well, I guess that explains why you so live so close to the woods. That's a real shame about the loner thing, though. Because the promotion we have for val on, on for Valentine's Day would have really come in handy otherwise. You intrigue me, Tickman. Tell me more. Well, Valentine's Day is for a day for people who are, you know, in love. L -l love? What in God's green earth is that? Is this love thing a type of feeling? I don't really do those things. Love is, well... Love is what happens when you when two grown-ups start craving more than just busy business handshakes and platonic ice cream breaks. Why is this in a graveyard? Love makes two people want to go romantic ice cream dates and drinks all kinds of exotic elixirs and nectars together. When two grown-ups are in love, they all make joint bank accounts together and go to the movies together, feed popcorn kernels to the rats and cockroaches there. 
and then one day, if you're lucky, your partner will, will, your partner will take the kids away forever and go marry Steve, the guy in your accounting firm who works in the same cubicle as you, but makes 6% more, more per year than you, and you can finally have a good night's sleep. That's love, my scary friend. Speaking of which, we have a promotion on today. Just for Valentine's Day, you just talked about that. Two tickets for the price of one for couples who are in love. If you can somehow convince someone to bring you here, you can, I don't know, force them to pay you in like a parasite. Granted, it take a real bastard mission acquired. Oh, for God fucking must source mate. <laughs> Okay, uh, go do that. Away from here! Okay, can you go now? You see, you just, you see, Mr. Jerry Ticket, I'll be back with a smoking hot babe. Hey, Ticket Jerry, are you by any chance free on Valentine's Day? <laughs> I will call the police! No! It's got a little way. Damn it! Now I want to reset, just so I can, just so I can, uh... I want Jerry. Jerry will be mine. How do I, how do I, how do I, how do I go back? I want to go back! I want Jerry to be mine! The fact that I can't have him it makes me it makes me want to have him more. Uh, t how do I fucking bitch? I just uh, What the fuck is a uh, what the fuck exit? What? Game end? Go to, t to title. Okay. Um. Okay. We're gonna try this again. New game. Okay. Uh, this one. Okay. Jerry will be mine. Yep, yep, hi dog. What the? Oops. Kidney in a bucket of bloodied ice. Yeah, sure. All right, now let's just uh, power through this. We're gonna speed run this. Hmm. You sinful creature. Seems I'm alive again. That's me. That's what I look like. Darn. <laughs> I hate it when I do that. Hmm.
let's retry this. Greetings, ticket buffoon. My name is Jerry, but okay. My green acquaintance. How can I help you today? I wish to gain entrance, Jerry of Ticket Booth. Well, do you wish to buy a ticket, goblin? Nah, it's fine. I don't want to piss behind any of your rides this year. I simply wish to find a fed, fed, fedded hole to lay my eggs in. Okay, you definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you want to do that. Rats! How much would that cost? Two dollars. Fudge, I have zero dollars. Tell me, young squire, would you accept tales and stories and other such whimsical parables as payments? No. No, I would not. Ah, oh, shoot! I was so close, too. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you that gremlin who lives in that tent next to that playground at the park? My eye is itchy. Oh no! My cover has been blown! Look, goblin beasts of indiscriminate species and gender. I'm only telling you this because of your stench. Because your stench is gonna drive away customers if I let you loiter around, loiter around here uninhibited for any longer. Oh, hello, Lesh. It's Valentine's Day today. Yeah, but. Did you say that you have eggs to lay or some other bizarre drivel to that effect? Surely you have a maid of some kind if you're getting ready to lay eggs. Nah, I'm a loner. Well, I guess that explains why you're so why you live so close to the woods. It's a real shame about the loner thing, though. Because the promotion we have on Valentine's Day would have really come in handy. Otherwise, well, Valentine's Day is for the people who are, you know, in love. Love is, well... Love is what happens when two grown-ups start craving more than just business handshakes and platonic ice cream breaks. Love makes two people want to go on romantic ice cream dates and drinks and all kinds of exotic elixirs and nectars together. When two grown-ups are in love, they'll make joint bank accounts together and go to the movies together to feed popcorn kernels to the rats and the cockroaches there. And then one day, if you're lucky, your partner will take your kids away forever and go marry Steve, the guy in your accounting firm who works in the same cubicle as you, who makes 6% more per year than you, and you can finally have a good night's sleep. My feet are cold. I'm gonna put on my socks. That's love, my scary friend. Hold on. Hold on, Jerry. I gotta, I gotta put on my socks. Hey, Farrell. Just gotta maneuver my wings under my desk and avoid it hitting my knee joints on my uh, microphone uh, arm holder thing. That happened once. It fucking hurt. I also, uh, I think I banged my head on my dress, like the dress that holds my art shit, my art stuff. And I think I also banged my knee into the same dresser, but a lower drawer. So yeah, my, uh, my desk is rife with opportunities to injure oneself, which is just, just magical. And now I am uncomfortable. There's a gap in the boxes I usually rest my feet in. Why is everything becoming so uncomfortable? Okay, anyways. <sighs> Speaking of which, we have a promotion on today. Just for Valentine's Day. Two tickets for the price of one for couples who are in love. If you can somehow convince someone to bring you here, you can, I don't know, force them to, force them to pay you in like a parasite. Granted, it take a real bastard to mission acquired. Oh my! Oh God! Fucking must source mate. Okay, uh, go do that. Away from here. Okay, me go now. Thanks. Thank Rotary Christ. Please do. Let's get away. Last time I kind of fucked up and I want- I fucked up and I couldn't get Jerry, but now- now that I could get Jerry, I want Jerry, so I had to restart. I'm playing Skyrim, put two and two together and realize the wife of the innkeeper in Winterhold is more evil than he- than we could imagine. Where's Winterhold? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. The, the wife of the innkeeper. Mission acquired. 
Which one is the wife of the innkeeper? Is that the... No, hold on. Is it... So there's this guy who keeps drinking or something, right? And either it's his sister or his wife that wants him to stop. I forget what it is. Chapter 1, the fun fair date. Why am I sweating so much? Ah, tent, sweet tent. I'm just gonna, uh... Save. Ah, tent, sweet tent. To find a well-functioning member of society to latch onto like a parasite, you'll have to leave your tent, you know. Damn, I hate moving even when necessary. Can I just lay my eggs here? Great stuff. Let's go lay those eggs. Let's go lay these eggs. Brilliant! <laughs> What the fuck? Friendly reminder. You can bring up the main menu at any point using the S key, including during NPC dialogue and during player choices. This allows you to tweak options to save the game at any point. Use this if you want to do something but feel as it, as though it might get you arrested or killed. Wait, I can die? Oh shit, that kind of sucks. Why is there a radioactive- What the fuck was that? Leave your tent. Open- Open menu! You have off your new love quest! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna be productive. Where would you like to go? Hmm. To Uptown Dial Town. Let's see. That's her. I turned her into a vampire and she loves it, which implies that she enjoys being a monster social predator. Friendly waffle doggo. That wolf doggo is kind of scary. Um. What? Hold on. Social predator? Is that what vampires are? Are they social predators? What even is a social predator? Like, what is the definition? Like, what's a, what's an example? And I am once more uncomfortable. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go to Uptown Dial Town and hope I don't get arrested. Maybe we should start small. Where would Jerry be? Jerry is one hot piece of brodery phone. I don't know what I'm saying. I haven't gone crazy from loneliness, trust me. Uh, uh. To the park, to the playground. I'm going to obsessively save. Save. Yes. Alright, um. Where would you like to go? To the park, to the playground, uh. I don't want to seem like a predator to kids, so let's just, uh, t t t Uptown Dial Town. Uh, Uptown Dial Town. Nothing to see here. Home of everything and everyone. Not cool enough to be in. D downtown tile Dial Town. So, what now? Leave the area. Summon a local ho a hobo. Talk to bystander. Social predator predators that prey on humans and hide in place sight and socialize. Examples include vampires and serial killers. I love how the jump between vampires and serial killers just. I. <laughs> love it. I mean, on one hand, one can, can kind of, you know, seem like it'd be just a normal occurrence. The other, well, the other's fucking illegal and should be stopped. Uh, talk to a local bystander. Howdy do, green partner! Wait, hold on. Howdy do, green partner! I'm so sorry. The name's Mikey! Short for Mi Uh, sir? Actually, scratch that. Mikey works just fine! Hey, the name's Falky. My me, Falky. Hello. Well, pleased to make your acquaintance, partner. So, what can I do for you for on this fine spring afternoon? I feel like my my speech is just degraded. Hello, can you take me to the fun fair, please? What the? F These dialogue options suck. Hello. Aw, shucks, partner. I would 
Don't get me don't get me wrong. Oh god, the ooh voice is spreading. But alas, I'm actually on my way to a book signing. You're looking at Dial Town's newest best selling writer. That's fine, man. I was really trying to use you. <laughs> Basically, I'm trying to scam a sucker to baby into the fun fair. I'm just a sponge, you see. Mer lichen pod pond scum. The phone looks like a social pro <laughs> Just snaps at people. Well, now ain't that a coinky dink? All of my best sellers happen to be about parasites of all kinds. You won't find a man who knows more about parasitism in all of old dial town, partner. Speaking of, let me know what I can do for you, because any longer I'll be running tardy. Um, um. My current book's all about people, Parasite. Like wit old me? Nah, people, you know. Flesh-colored bipedal creatures, critters. Flesh color means nothing to me. Flesh can be different colors. Can't say I've, I've ever seen it in green, though, partner. Uh, I mean, Parasite's when to move out. Don't suppose you'd want to copy my latest book, would you? Are, are there pictures in it? Sure, our partner. At least one per chapter. Are there words? I, would I have to read? Yeah, I, I mean, it is a book. Pass! Hard pass! Well, shucks. Can't say I didn't try. Is, is that it then, partner? Hey, Mikey, give, you, give me a parasite pack. You know, there's a whole world of screwed up critters out there, and I love all of it. You know, there's a crit out there, a little ice pod called the tongue louse that lives in the ocean. Hoo boy! It eats fish tongues. It crawls into a fish's mouth, rips off the fish's tongue, and becomes its new tongue. Honestly, that's pretty relatable. Sounds like something I totally do. Thanks for the fact, my insides feel itchy, you know. Anytime, partner. I'm not gonna go down this route, because last time I did that, uh, Jerry hated me. So, it's time for me to go then later. Right on, then! Sayonara, partner! <laughs> I'm sorry if any of you died listen to, listening to me. Summon a local hobo. Hobo of Dial Town, I summon thee! What the fuck? Yo. Hey, nice to meet you, friendo. Name's Hound. You need something? Aren't you the guy at the start? You know what? You know what? You're gonna ignore that. Are you indeed? Hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. New? Pal, I'm the oldest thing alive. Even older than, than, even older than like a dinosaur? Okay, counting dead things is like cheating and stuff. But yeah, I'm older than pretty much every dinosaur I've met. Yeah, thing is, I'm kind of like God and stuff. I create everything around you right now and farted out the cosmos and the stars and shit. Yeah, I'm a kind of big deal actually. Hang on, you created everything? I was about to make a joke about summoning ritual to summon a hobo, but the game beat me to it. <laughs> well, yeah, most things. But not everything. Well, yeah, you guys did some of the work to be fair. You mean like building society and shit? We do live in a society. I bet we would oh no. Nah, not quite. You ever like leave a take-up box in the corner of your room and forget to bin the box and only find a new species evolved from the reins of your chicken Thai curry from last month? Kick me, I'm God. This world is my take-up box, and I'm the hungover dude gazing upon infinite possibility in disgust and awe. Yeah, it's nice to meet ya. I gotta get going. Are you drunk right now? What's your favorite hobby? If you're gone, what's the meaning of life then? Aren't you afraid you'll be arrested for standing like that in the road? Punch God! <laughs> can you? Wait, hold on. Can you? Can you? Say God, can you? Uh, uh, can you just be alone? What's your favorite hobby? 
You ever eaten broken glass or shiny rocks before? I don't recommend it, but still. Don't knock it till you try it. I'm partial to the taste of gravel myself. Gravel? What are you, some kind of weirdo? At least forge for normal things to eat if you're gonna scavenge. Like broken glass and shiny rocks. See, there we go. Okay, I... Oh God, what the fuck is going on? I love this game. Save, I demand a save. You want me to come up with a reason for all this, uh, this existing? Don't you remember why you created the universe? I don't remember what I ate this morning. I probably ate trash, knowing me. So you can come up with like, okay, forget what I asked then. That's the spirit. Okay, let's try punching God. <laughs> you fool! I'm a god! How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating incident! How could you be so naive? I... Okay, I appear to have just shit my myself. You win this round, green one. <laughs> can you pay me to the fun fair god? God, how much would that even cost? One, maybe even two dollars? Do I look like I have two dollars right now? Aren't you God? Don't you control your reality? John, I guess I... <laughs> That's a moral in reference. What do you mean? Control reality? Pa! Look at this shit show happening on this bastard of an orb we call Earth right now! Do you honestly think I have a clue what's going on? You wanna fix it? You be God for a day. Violin, eh? Oh, you must be talking about Nathaniel Handjob Han Hanover. What the fuck? Talented boy, talented boy. I always said, if my universe had to have a soundtrack, he'd be the dude I, that I picked to compose it. Oh, did he compose the music that's playing right now? Music? Yeah, there, there's like, it's like city music. Yeah, the soundtrack, but there's music and it changes from location to location. Pal, if you can hear a soundtrack, then you're more shit-faced than I am. Which is quite an accomplishment, I can assure you. Wait, do I have a theme? Yeah, and it's little d a dog toy squeaks and barking. Honestly, one could argue that the theme is slightly too good for you. Wonderful, everything is as it should be. Now, kiddo, is that all then? Uh, I gotta get going. Going so soon, eh? What's the rush? Gotta lay, gotta lay me some some eggs. I'm heavily pre I'm heavily pregnant. Gotta pay child support to that witch I wasted ten years of my life with. I've merely grown tired of you. I am God. How can you kill a God? What a grand intoxicating instance. Is, is, is a reference to final battle in Morrowind. The main antagonist is Dagoth Urs. Is that word for word? Oh, okay. I. <laughs> oh, God. What, which one do I do? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> sucks to be you. I'm glad that I don't have any uh, same child support payment. Sharon, wait, no, the kids, please! <laughs> what are we gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna sneak up to someone like that. I don't think Jerry wants to see me just yet. Oh. 
Ah, downtown dial town. Where the air tastes like crystal meth and the crystal meth tastes like smog. So what now? Read the notes of a near uh, on a nearby phone pole. Nearby pole teleports directly to you. God, what the fuck? You have to know something. Anything else will help you get in, get into that fun fair. Hmm, let's see. Okay, let me read the first advert out, out aloud. Hiya! I'm Froggles the Clown! Froggles the Clown! What the fuck is this? Clowns don't even exist anymore! But, don't you believe in Bigfoot? Whole different kettle of fish. Bigfoot is real. Clowns are not. Bigfoot is a feral primordial ape man who lives in the woods and is only ever seen through a hazy disposable camera footage. Exactly. He might as well be my uncle. Clowns are literally just people with funny red noses. How is that any less easy to comprehend? You think clowns are people? People don't lay eggs. You lay eggs. My point exactly. I mean, imagine having a head covered in disgusting flesh with a red bulbous tumor attached to your face. That fucking honks. They have gigantic shoes, and yet, and yet, they drive around in comically tiny cars. They blow balloons and dance jigs at the drop of a hat. As if such absurd antics are menial. They are truly wretched creatures. Huh. I had no idea you felt this way. Awful beings. Okay, so should we skip over Frog Frongle's advert then? Fuck that, read the clown page. It might, it might be funny. But you said! Fuck it, you're impossible. Read the clown page! Read the clown page. I'm reading it, I'm reading it. Let's see here. Hiya, boys and girls! I'm Frongle's the clown. I really need money. I'm a real clown. I may not be licensed, but I'm also dabbling in plumbing and dentistry. I'll do just about anything for four dollars. Please hire the clown. I'll do anything. I'm living in a storm drain right now. You think any task is too lowly for this clown? Four dollars. By God, you can afford that. Come on. I have a chimp to feed. The whole, there's a whole page of this. Skip to the end then. Yours honkfully, Frongles the clown. Honk honk. Huh. Wow. I think Whiplash- I think Whiplash- I got- I think I got- I don't have a corporal form and I think- I think- I think I might vomit. Wait, what even are you? Physically? I guess I'm like a disembodied voice. Wait, how does that even work? Are you seriously asking the disembodied voice that you only- that only you can hear to rationally explain itself to you? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm asking you to do. You're fucking crazy, man. Stop following me around. That's good advice. I'm just gonna refuse to follow to follow it. Okay, fuck it. Let's see what else is on here. Oh, here's another one. Uh Dagoth Ur's traumatized psyche almost took over reality and had him control Morwin Morwin and enslave all of the other elven races and exterminate the human race. Fun fact, your skeleton is always wet and in in the dark. Yeah, no shit, because it's covered in wet, wet, fleshy shit, and it's in the dark because it's covered in wet, fleshy stuff. But your teeth are always warm. Wait, no, that also, that also always makes sense because your mouth is always warm. Jesus Christ. Rent a chimpanzee. Good start. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Hey, you want to take a chimpanzee out for tea? He's a little on the feral size, now that he's reached full sexual maturity, but just as adorable as ever. Just don't let him near kids, pets, open spaces, fire, or people. It's only four dollars. By God, you can afford the- Okay, this is clear that Frongo's the clown character again. He clown funny. <laughs> Your stomach is swollen with eggs, you troglodyte! You need to focus! Right, right, sorry, sorry. I'll write you <laughs> Or not at all? Right, right. Are there any other advertisers latched onto that pole? Yeah, there. there's exactly one. Phone sex hotline. Somehow I don't think you're gonna get anywhere with this one. 
how to bounce? Do you have any better ideas? Consider again. The bounce! We're calling the number, damn it! Okay, okay, if you insist. How is you gonna make the call? See, there's phone booth! Away! Alas, here we are. Dial Town's only a phone booth, since half of, like, all people got their heads replaced with rotary phones. Dare I say that this thing hasn't had much use since then. No, no, okay, um. And it seems to use a ability solely to contain far more filth than this one particular fetid box should be able to contain. Oh, come on, is it really that bad? Well, for starters, there's a strong smell of urine in here. All the buttons of the keypad are sticky with gum, and there's a dead raccoon on the floor. I named the raccoon. No, you'll just get attached. <laughs> okay, what's what can we name this? What can we name this? What can we name this raccoon? Sorry, it was an accident! His name is Jerry. You're not keeping it. I'm keeping it and that's final! Damn it! <laughs> you ready? Try, I'll read the number. It's Sly Cooper. Good show! Glad to see someone to the enthusiasm. The number is, uh... Your enthusiasm was for not. I don't get it. What's the number? It's, uh... <laughs> you sure you're ready? I've never been ready in all my life. Huh? No dice. Master phone. Did, did I type this... The schlong text drawing into the keypad wrong. Damn it, how am I supposed to get through with this with these sticky edges? <laughs> yeah, it might be less the phone's fault and more so yours. I'm not putting 25 cents in the phone's coin box. 25 cents? What do they think I am? Winston Churchill! <laughs> Why did you lie on his name? Well, never mind, I don't want to know. I look. Point is, you need to figure out what you're gonna do now. You're senseless. So what's the plan? I'll just shit my pants and go do something else. Oh uh, wait, is my head a working phone? You're only just remembering now that your head is a telephone. I didn't hear you suggesting it. I don't exist. You're standing in a phone booth alone, holding a dead raccoon. He has a name, you know. Fine. Let's just make the call. Oh shit, that actually seemed to work. I'm fair for sexual gratification. It's egg time! <laughs> it's like we really fell on a hard time since this last game flopped. Hi, never say that again. Hi, my name is Randy Jade, and I'm feeling Randy for you tonight. I'm sorry. My boss forces me to say that. I really should have just lied about my name. I'd like to feel ready. How are you doing tonight? Oh, you know, same as always, which is never great. Sorry about taking a little while to pick up the phone, by the way. I'm actually at work right now. I mean, of course you are. Don't you work at a phone sex hotline? <laughs> I mean, yes, of course I do, but... It's only a side job. I have I have to make enough to pay my rent, which is laughable, which is laughably high. So then, what exactly is your main job then? During the day, I work as a bird wrangler for Dialtown Animal Control. I, I'm kind of in the middle of, of subduing a hostile swan right now. Wait, did you just say? Do you typically wrestle with birds while talking dirty with patrons? 
I, I mean, it's not that I'm fighting a swan, it's more that I'm trying my darndest to subdue and capture it before it wreaks havoc. What kind of chaos would, could a lone swan- You sound like you're crying. I can't let the swan see. It already knows that it's physically and mentally stronger, stronger than me. I can't let it know that it's also emotionally stronger too! I'm sorry, I- I got all caught up in our swan talk. You see, most customers kind of call, you know, later. Only weirdos tend to talk, to want to talk during it with a complete stranger on their lunch break during a 12 hour shift at the Dialtown Battery Factory. I, I mean, no offense. Nesting location for heavily pregnant friends' eggs? I, I mean, is there anything else you want to talk about? Beggars can't be choosers. Okay, that's uh Jesus fucking Christ. Is that your sexuality or dating policy? Are you kidding me? I if I've even found someone willing to tolerate my presence. That's marriage material. That, or they're just acting like nice because they're trying to steal my organs. Fool me once. Ha, huh, in that case. Come to the fun for a little die screaming. Hey, hot stuff, how about we have a fun fair shifting? What the fuck? I guess you are, I, are wise to be trying to steal. Uh, are you? Are you asking me out on a. Date? Yeah. Well. Yeah, thanks for noticing. Gee whiz, this is. I've never been asked out on a date before. Usually I'm the dude who has to beg people to go out for a coffee with me. And to resist the urge to throw the scalding hot, hot scalding beverage on my face during the second. during the sordid ordeal of, ta of you taking me out. So you're in? I sure as heck am in! What do I have to lose? Your money. Well, I would like to. Well, I would like a serial killer and a murderer for you, for your skin or whatever. Well, as I always say, at worst, th this will probably just kill me, which is best for everyone, including myself. This very well might. We're just living by. So, when do you want to do this? Does right now work? I mean, I'm kind of at work right now, and you know, this swan isn't gonna wrangle itself. I am heavily pregnant. I, yeah, I understand. It is now or never, Randy! I, all right. I guess I can leave in a few minutes. Take your time, my sweet. It's okay. My time is actually worth very little. It's better if I just ra run so I get all sweaty and you can't smell the scent of swan mass massacre or desperation over my overwhelming body odor. <laughs> Manager asks later, I'll just say the swan one. It always does, anyway. Catch you at the fun fair, m my sweet. <laughs> just... See you later, cutie pie. You will pay me into the fun fair. I will leave my. <laughs> Thank the phone lord that my pants were already wet. The phone lord is swan saliva. Otherwise, I'd have. To... <laughs> what? I'll I'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> well then, looks like you wheezed your way into the fun fair. After all, what do you think of him? Eggs! Not yet, Falcon! <laughs> Soon! <laughs> Come on, let's go! You've got a date to attend. This is the most perfect stream I've ever done. So, what now? Leave the area. Where would you like to go? Last outskirts of Dialtown. The city meets fun fuck nowhere. It's not all bad, narrator. There's always the fun affair. 
A neon blotch in an otherwise perfectly viable spot for two boars to fuck. Yes. I don't see why two boars couldn't fuck around here. If you honestly think you can successfully ejaculate within viewing distance of a populated ferris wheel, then you're certainly a, a stronger beast than I. Did someone say waifu? Yes! We're having phone waifu. You, you'll see. So, what now? Randy's waiting for you. Just wander into the woods. I want to... Why can I not select this? Fun fact. Vampire, the master race, inspired by themes of addiction, peer pressure, and social horror. Take out the vampires and basically have an addict trying to prevent being murdered. Won't let me le leave the area. The fun fair. Name of the game. Um, Dial Town. So you ready to meet Randy at the gate? Ready as I'll, as I'll be. Sure, this will end up being good time. I ju I just know it. That's the spirit. Come on, you've got a date to catch. Hi, me again, just serving you up a little final one-time reminder. You can access the menu anytime using the S key if you need to change any settings or save the game at any time. Also, to make completionist playthroughs easier, I've added this baby at the top of the screen. It appears every time a root divergent choice occurs, remind reminding you to save at the, that moment. It means you can reload and get another ending, allowing you to try other endings out without any backpedaling. Thank you, and don't forget, better save than sorry! Wolf Doggo has returned. Oh no! Ticket, Jerry, my friend! <coughs> We aren't- Phone Lord help me, why can't I just have an average day at work? Look, persistent goblin, as I said, I'm not willing to just let you in to get you off my back. And I'm not willing to take you myself. So unless you're, you're suddenly able to pull a romantic partner out of your- He's coming! Who is he? Randy! Did you actually manage to open some poor sucker to paying you into the fun fair? Or is it some kind of bizarre and whimsical distraction designed to hold my attention while your weird stomach enzymes dissolve a gaping hole in our fence for you to climb through? Damn, I wish I would've come up with that idea myself. No! No, it's Randy's a- No, Randy's a real humano bean. Y you mean a human? Like, a person? Yeah, what are those? This? A legend of Rand Randy person. I actually know, know a few Randys, you know. Wait. Randys? Randy? Randy? Sorry. Point is, I know Randy or two. Say, does your Randy have to, have to be pale and scrawny, covered in bandages? Constantly smells like sweat, desperation, and swan rage. Yeah, I'm glad Randy's to got someone to spend this spend his Valentine's Day with th with this year. Quite a pity that it's with a little cryptid who just wants to use him as a pawn to, in their egg laying plan. Hey, that's not fair. Randy and I are extremely close. Name one fact about wrangling Randy other than him wrangling swans and people's wieners over the phone. Actually. He doesn't. He used to have an apartment, but now he lives in a... Fuck face. Hey, sorry I'm right. I had to roll around in a puddle to get the swan blood off my clothes for the, pig for the big date. Oh, who am I kidding? We both know the blood was exclusively mine. But, but hey! 
You look marvelous, my sweet. So do you, Randy. You look cuter than I pictured over the phone. Egg time! Oh, I, I, d do you really? Randy, I know your brains are probably scrambled from the accident and then the numerous swan wallings, but come on, man. Don't fall for their honeyed words. What, what are you talking about, Jerry? They're using you, Randy. We have a two for one ticket promotion on Valentine's Day for couples. They just want you to pay them in so they can layer their eggs in a moist pit somewhere at the, in the fun fair. Oh, I mean, yeah, I, I knew that. You knew? And still you came? Beggars can't be choosers, Jerry. Randy? <sighs> Fine, it's your funeral, I suppose. That'll be $2 then, Randy. Oh, okay, I should have two dollars. I, uh, I should have about two dollars here. Maybe slightly less. You know what? Just, just go right in, Randy. Really? Yeah, I've had enough of this. Wretch of a creature for today. You're talking about me or Randy? I like to see how you look with the Full like signing said. Oh my god. Randy, please just get this creature out of my sight. Y yes, sir. Come on, hun. Let's go to, to let's go do the romance like a couple of old lovebirds. Ladies first, hun. Uh, hey, I may be no man, but I I Okay, you know what? I'm just happy to be directly referred to in any context that isn't soul-crushingly scathing. Uh, after you. Well, here we are, my love. The Dial Town Fun Fair and all its streets soak safety inspection failing glory. So, my love, what shall we do first? Eggs! Oh, uh, right. You wanna just, uh, let those right now? You know, get it over with? Well, I would if you. Ah! Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Um. Alright, let's go down this route. Yeah, you're okay, pal. Constant swan attacks? Those I can deal with. But... I'm so happy to s I'm, I'm, I'm happy to spend the rest of my life in blissful ignorance and never learn how it feels to massage an egg gland. I'll uh, just look away and let you get get to it. Pain grunting. Agonized grunting. You okay, hun? Distressed roaring. What's the matter? Aren't you like heavily pregnant? I've got a s I've got stage fright. Ah, right. So, uh, what now? Hmm. We could always go on a few rides. See if we can shake the eggs out, eggs out of my gut. Wow. That's absolutely wretched. But, I mean, I guess we can try. Rides! Eggs! Now! Loki want an RPG set in a dingy urban area with urban decay. Anything for you, my love. Let me know if you guys actually want me to, uh... Um, play a serious dating simulator.
This game both exhausts and excites me. I feel exhausted playing this, but I also feel like I want to replay this. Fallen Lord, I think I'm going to hurl. I swear, I have to go on one more. I swear, if I have to go on one more vomit coaster, fear not, dear Randy. I am ready to lay my eggs. Oh, good then. Right, uh, right here? Yes! These ditch, this ditch is squalled and uh, dank. Damp and thoroughly moist. In close proximity to the hot dog stand. Yes, a perfect nesting location. Right, uh... Do you need me here for this, or... Fetch me a hot dog mating partner! I mean, I can do that, sure. Egg laying is a strenu strenuous ordeal. I require sustenance. Fine, fine. I'll, uh... I'll be right back. What? With one quality fair fairground wiener. Uh, uh. Oh, who am I kidding? We both know that there will be rat tails, pig hooves, and horse jerky in the in this in the sausage. Okay, so I guess it's time to <gasps> the sounds of the damned. Oh, they're cute. Huh. Well, would you look at that? My babies. They're uh defensive Neanderthal grunting. <laughs> they're uh beautiful. <laughs> Hey, hon, I'm back. Uh huh. I suppose these uh, these be your eggs then. A parent, a parent. I'm a parent, Randy. A parent. Aren't they beautiful, Randy? I will die before I let you make an omelet with my unborn babies. <laughs> yeah, they're they're quite uh green. Thank you. You're, uh... You're very welcome. Fun fact, Neanderthals ate the brains of dead babies. So, uh... What now? Throw some topsoil over the eggs and... Good, my babies are safe and sound. Okay, so, like... The eggs have been laid, but, but the night is still young? We should, like, seize the moment. Deem the carp. Yeah, deem the carp! Deem the carp! Oh, yeah! What shall we do first? Go play some dumb car carnival games? Rate the hot dog stands? When I have to walk to all those places? Yeah, I'll hold ten meters that, that away. Oh, dear. It appears that Randy wants you to walk 11 yards to your left. Fuck! Oh, fuck! I just laid fucked on my legs! My legs are jelly! My legs are limp and flaccid! Yeah. Also, never use the word flaccid around me again. Thanks. What do? Okay, calm down. Just look around for something to do. Something slightly closer than 10 meters away. Something you can crawl over to if you have to. Crawl! Hot dog! Activity! I'm sorry, what? Also, maybe stop talking to me in front of Randy. You're probably scaring him because you sound like a wounded feral animal right now. I am a wounded feral animal! Hun, uh, are you alright? Do you need a glass of water or whatever combo of whiskey and bat? Bat nectar you, your kind likely consumes? Panic! Hun, you just said the word panic out loud. Fortune teller! What? what? <laughs> Look, Randy! Exactly two easily clamorable meters that away! Is that a fortune teller animatronic? Madam Mediocre? Look, I don't know. I kind of have a. That sounds like a ba bad idea. But, dear Randy, don't you want to gaze into your future? Out of order. I mean, my present is already bad enough, a and the sign says the machine's out of order. That won't stop us, Randy. I don't know. I think seeing that the next, mu hopefully, much less than 
40 years of misery I have left on this hellscape of an orb all at once just I think seeing the next hopefully much less than 40 years of misery I have left on this hellscape of an orb all at once just destroy the last fabric of my future look I I can't be here right now I'll I'll see you around you know I Randy no huh that's odd. Seems like Randy really didn't like the idea about he hearing his own future. This game has an unusually high number of falky friendly dialogue options and responses. Yeah! I just realized! Hold on, I haven't even really been stuttering that much. Interesting. <laughs> also, why does falky friendly seem like a seem like a new word? Sounds like something I'd hear on an infomercial. Is your Falky having trouble existing? Cuts, like, the camera shifts to show me dragging my face on a kitchen floor while, like, foaming at the mouth and screaming, going, <laughs> Is your Falky in existential de 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 depressed distress? <laughs> it cuts to show my, a close-up of my face. It zooms in <laughs> On my, on my wet eyes, wet all, all wet from crying. <laughs> Is your Falky scratching up your family members' uh, 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 orifices? <laughs> it just, it just shows audio of people screaming and the sound of me screaming, and then it cuts to some guy who looks like he he's lived in a sewer for the past five years, and he's like, "Well, I have a solution to, to you." Introducing Falky Fat Friendly Friendly Water Sparkles, and then he just throws a bag of water sparkles at me. <laughs> and I start screaming. I get to sit with my... I start grunting and snarling, just just ripping open the bag, start breaking glass for no reason. What am I saying? Okay, moving on. I mean, like you said, a look at this present. Time is scary. Rinda soul not. Eventually, dear, narr dear narrator. Um, okay. Yeah, unless you're a disembodied voice like me. You can't rot if you don't actually exist. BASTARD! Come on, then. Let's go home. I thought I couldn't walk, though. Sorry, let me offer correction. Let's crawl home, then. Ah, shit. Goodbye, my children. I will return to you all when I can. Yeah, yeah, struggle of life on all that shit. Let's go. Let's just go. <laughs> the following morning. Ah, here I am, awake and fortunately alive. Another fine morning indeed. Fuck, oh god, I hate being alive. I need distraction of some kind. Morning to you too. Narrator, distract me. I, uh, did you know that dragons are actually real, but just really high up in the sky? There's also some close to the ground, but we can't see those either since they're all invisible. You're a liar. How dare you feed me such falsehoods? The epitome of worthless lies. Oh dear. Did you know that ketchup is actually just tomato nectar? You are distracting me from naught. Jeez, fine. Well, you could, uh, scare, stare, stare at the ball, ball up close for a while, right? Try to burn your optical sensors out so you don't have to see how boring your surroundings are. Capital idea! Let's see here. Can we not do that? God, that's a lot of flies. Sure is. Guess it'll it'd help if you clean this place up. It's still February. I'll get started on my yearly clean later. You're, you're gonna actually remember to get it done this year? Without child labor, that is. Maybe. That's actually a no, is, isn't it? In Disco Elysium, one of the first lines of dialogue you can choose is, Help, Mama, my head is trying to kill the rest of my body. I need to play this game at some point. Almost definitely yes. Mm-hmm. How about a change of scenery? Where would I even go? I don't know. You could go to the local beach. Would I have to sit down? Well, legally, no. But... Why go otherwise? I don't know, but my keister is pretty darned raw. What? Egg laying is ex exactly something I do daily, you know? Fine, you know what? 
you want to go to the beach and not sit down, that's fine too. Nito, I'll just stay standing and spare my buttocks then. Nah, I'll sit down. Well, isn't this the serene? Bench! That's right, Falky! You fucking weirdo. <laughs> Engaging to be me, to be frank. Well, yeah, you managed to sit down on a bench, and despite your excruciating anal agony, which is quite impressive, don't get me wrong, but not really much of an active activity. Other than not, not trying to, other than not trying to look too agonized, letting passing strangers think you're taking a really strenuous dump. That is. So what now? Hmm. You can always look around, gaze at the local scenery. Delightful. Yes. Behold, trees. Hello, trees! Christ, you're easily amused. Right, but I also bore easily. Okay, I'm bored again. Well, why not wait a while before using up this distraction? God, a boredom! It's unbearable! Seriously? Okay. Let's just go look at something else. Behold, the mighty swan. Huh. You know, it's been a long time since I've seen one of, those, one of these puppies up close. I mean, they're not puppies. They're swans. S-W-A-N-S. -S. Shh. Please, hush now. Make me. God, th these things are terrifying up close. Why do we have to get give them paper shredders for heads? Fantasy of having office ones was a was 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 a was a, was a ridiculous one, all right, and a messy one. You know, it, was, it has just now occurred to me why Randy has bandages on his hands, since he has to wrangle those feather shredder di shred shredder dinos on a daily base basis. Randy, who dat? Why did Chappie went out with date with last night? Dude with fuck face written on his forehead. Yeah, that's the guy, all right. Wait a moment. You haven't won those idea again? Companionship! I ain't getting notifications for your stream, but I have arrived. Hey! Uh, give me a moment to uh, remember how to pronounce your name. Lou? Is it Lou? Welcome! Um, this is insanity. Th uh, that's, all I'm that's all the context you're getting. Companionship! Uh-huh. If I find Randy, he can like, say and do stuff. To and, wait, say and do stuff to and in front of me. Which will, like, cure my boredom, mayhaps. Yep, that's the idea of social interaction, anyway. Really? To alleviate boredom? Well, yeah, kind of. And also so you don't go insane. Please refer to the handy interaction, interaction pentagon. Bug facts. Alleviating boredom. Love. Gaining and receiving it. Violence and such. Tax benefits. Interesting. As you can see, boredom is the key reason we interact with others. With bug facts, violence, tax benefits, and love being the other four less important reasons. Why bug facts? I just think they're neat. Anywho, you should find Randy then. Might end up curing a chronic boredom, you know? Where is he? Where's Randall? Let's be nice. It's got me this far so far. Well, normally I'd say check if he's eat being eaten by the local swans at the park, but since we're looking right at, at him, that's probably a dead end. I have no clue where he could be right now, to be frank. Why not ask around town? You're really bad at this. That town's a big place. Where should I start? Well, I'm sure most of the stores in this city banned Randy from their parking lots for bumming out their customers, so they might be a good place to start. Cryptid, cryptid, oh, cryptid away. Okay. How was your day? It's been great. Had some fun in drama class. Uh. Please help me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a demo. This is still a demo. Wow. This is a good game.
wonder if I should actually play it like a uh, serious dating simulator. S'mores. <laughs> so, then I says, I ain't paying. Wait, I ain't paying for the doll. That doll. That dolphin semen, no matter how many alsations you send after me. Well, look at here what the cat dragged in. I swear, there was there was context to all that. No, there wasn't. You just start drawing on about whatever that was as soon as they appeared. Am I interrupting something? Boy, sir, sir sounds like a hell of a conversation you're having. Yeah, I never quite know what the big man upstairs is gonna say. Or in this case, the big man in the alley. Big man? Was that a fat joke? I could smite you, you know. Probably. Firstly, firstly, you know you can't, couldn't do that to little old me. Secondly, Nah, big man upstairs just means gods all. Oh. I don't care for that expression much. After all, why would being why would a being that can fly need stairs? You can fly? Partner, I ain't never seen you fly. I could probably fly if I wanted to. You'd look foul from the ground angle, though. You could you could really shed a few pounds. Wow, that'd look cool. I bet you'd look majestic soaring through the air. Speak for yourself, partner! You haven't seen his gut jiggling on the ground, let alone fly. Hey, for your information, my body is already functioning at maximum efficiency. You may not like it, but this is what ideal hobo bod looks like. My blubber keeps me warm. If your blubber keeps you warm, then why in tarnation do you sleep in a soggy cardboard at night? My blubber is also coveted by predators. If you have pockets, then why would you need a wallet? Speaking of wallets, say, brother, you could spare a dime, could you? This is grim. Say, partner, what was the gawking on us anyhow? Yeah, you still looking for a fun fair ticket? No, fortunately, my oozing egg clutch have already been laid at the, on the funfair grounds. Right now, I'm just bored and seeking companionship. Well then, partner, you've come to the right place. We're just oozing with companionship, ain't we, God? Replace the uh, a onion in companionship and a with onion, and maybe I'll begrudgingly agree. What? What? Oh, with onion. Companionship. No onions. I see we seek specific company. I seek the company of Randy Jade. Randy, who's that? Say, ain't you one of the fellows who picks up th at the phone sex hotline? You call phone sex hotlines? Well, not lately. Not nah. Besides, something needs- something seemed to be eating the poor man up last night. I did call. I think cowboys scare the poor guy. What I didn't know- what I don't get is how you know who Randy is and God somehow doesn't. If he's God, shouldn't be, he be all-knowing? In fairness, partner, he's also constantly inebriated, so that number's gotta be capped off at like 50% of everything at most. I do know a few goodies, though, so I'm content with 50% of everything I, that I do know. Like what? Did you know that Florida's gonna sink in the ocean like, like 10 years time, and everyone who tries to escape the sink will just be dragged into the swamp water by tamed alligators? Horse more, the horse, the four horsemen of the apocalypse actually tamed the alligators back in prehistoric times, and we, but we didn't know since the horsemen ain't exactly walking around right now, being buddy buddy with the gators and shit. Wow, that's equally, equal, equal, equal parts fascinating and horrifying. Yeah, just wait till the end of the world comes. 
you think this is this world is a shit show? You should see what's coming next. Anywho, anywho, partner, I'm sorry that we don't know where your pal is. But if you have any other questions for us, we just tickled you to answer him for you. What kind of things do you talk about? Oh, anything and everything. Mostly nerd stuff. This one's got real penchant for sciencey topics, it seems. Well, you are God, ain't ya? Way I see it, the best person to talk about in workings of, of this uh, universe is the fellow who created it, right? I'm sure you could drag up someone more qualified. Someone more qualified than the guy who's responsible for, cre for the creation of reality itself? See, now you're getting it. So Mikey, what has God taught you? Aside from just about every every unique phrase, the amounts of change, good sir, in existence. Well, yeah, w wait, wait, wrong voice. Well, yeah, obviously aside from that, man. Well, mostly just confirming which hurl and space rocks are on the course to hit Earth, which religion is right one, stuff like that. Oh, I know this one. How any fool with a telescope and a lack of a day job can track rolling space rocks. That ain't nothing special. Do I look like I own a telescope? Nah, to be frank, you look you look like you came from space. Interesting fan theory. Anyhow, I know which religion is the correct one. Uh-huh. And what religion might that be? Say, does God does God eat trash in your religion? Yes, he is also a hobo dog. All right, your religion seems to be a tad improvised, but your spiritual hogwash club gets points for general accuracy, I guess. Well, at least Hinduism gets some stuff, right, eh, God? Yeah, they can't come close enough, I guess. What did they get right? Well, for starters, they seem to understand that cows are pretty chill. Hey, did you know that cows have best friends? They're really just big hoof doggies. That, alas, happened happened to be to be made of hamburger meat. I just ate a burger. I feel bad now. I'm more partial to the taste of horse jerky myself. Whoops, interrupted God again. Sorry, go on. They believe that, that God of the god that the god of creation and the god of destruction are one and the same, which is surprisingly correct. Creation and destruction are man-made ideas. Nothing's ever made brand new or totally annihilated out of existence. Everything just changes form, if, when it needs to. Yep, before this universe, there was another one very similar to it. Right here, after this one implodes, and the end of this universe be the Big Bang for another universe. Yep, partner. Explosion, dreadful cause of monotony, big crunch. That's the pattern. Also, Hinduism believes the whole universe is within a dream of a sleeping god, which seems to be correct. You think so? Yeah! But man, I sure hope it's my dream, not some other gods. That should be awkward. You see why I talk to God now? I mean, in fairness, he is also God, partner. Yeah, but, but nah, it's G. I haven't actually created anything in quite a while. Hobo is the most recent job listed on my resume, I, I, I suppose. Uh. Alright, partner, happy trails! Good luck, friendo. Hope you find your sexy ring ring bud. What? Yours, hound, Houndly Dog Man. Casually just start a call.
Oh, hello. Hello? Hello, hello? Wait, is this phone guy from... Oh, hey there. You need something, friend? Who are you? Identif identify yourself! Oh, uh, I'm, uh... You can call me Harry, if you'd like. Sorry. Is there anything specific that I, that I can help you with? I'm running late for work, and if I'm in the door even a moment after noon, Mr. Kenny will have my hide for a brunch, which he eats at the ripe hour of 5 p.m. It's, uh, it's kind of like slavery, except the boss doesn't have the decency to purchase you from a Peruvian mountain warlord before, before hiring you. Inco incomprehensible. Thank you. Gotcha, gotcha. Any other questions, then? Randy. Randy. The name- that name rings bell, right? Where would I know him from? You ever see a man dragged away by a swan kicking and screaming? Oh, that Randy! I'll be honest with you, it's been a long time since I've ran into him. I remember he used to work over in the nearby burger joint, asked me if there's any jobs going at the fast food place. I, I, any jobs going at the fast food place I worked at a while back. Just between us, Randy's a nice guy and all, but I can't picture him in a sweaty bear suit. One slip in, in one of those things and you, uh... Anywho, if Randy asks, tell him to stay far away from Bear. Okay, I'm convinced this guy is like a reference to, um, Phone Guy from, from Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm not- I'm sure Randy knows how- knows not to approach bears, Harry. It's the name of the restaurant I work at. Yep, yep, definitely. Yeah... What on God's green, green earth names their fast food joint Bear? Preaching to the choir, buddy. Preaching to the choir. Anywho, could always ask around at the Dialtown Burger Joint. I think the name of the place is Bunny's Burgers, if I recall correctly. Never been, myself. I heard the guy who owns... I heard the guy who owns it is a huge hecker man, though, if you'll excuse my French. He certainly is, yes. Shoes me away every darn time I sniff the windows of his restaurant. Granted, he could be the- he could be worse than my boss. You ever smell a rotting body before? Jerry. Jerry's still here. Huh. Alright, then. Well, if you think a corpse smells bad, then try working for one. Yeah. You, you honestly think a creature that hasn't blinked in a decade knows what a legally mandated toilet break is? Yeah, if you want to find Randy, I'd ask at the nearby burger joint. Thanks, Harry. You're a star. Okay, you've fulfilled my purpose. Get out of my sight! Aw, shucks. Okay, my delightful green friend. I'll see you on the flip side then. Find Randy. I pro I, 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 maybe I should ask around first. Well, Falky, can you see Randy in there? I have mole vision, man. Ten plus feet away is beyond my visceral reach. Damn, that would have been a universal indicator. All right. You see anyone in there running from swans or begging for a chance? Perhaps also no to both. Speaking of Disco Elysium, I'm updating it, and you can have an eyebrow flexing contest now. Oh. Well, that's all I've got. Unless you want to sniff at the glass, perhaps? Last time I sniffed the glass, Mr. Burger Man scared me off. Don't you have any other ideas? Fuck, I'll just leave the place.
So what now? What now? Oh, the area? Oh, I can't ask Jerry? Where? Okay. Feebly approach the ticket desk. Oh. It's you. Hello, ticket Jerry! Hello, oh fair goblin. Can I help you? Can I ask you a question, Ticket Jerry? Since I'm not allowed to leave this booth and I'm unable to physically compel you to leave through this glass, legally the answer is yes. No, I, uh, I guess I might if you bang really hard on the glass. Well, I wasn't expecting it. That's not an invitation. Don't do that. Yeah, my boss put that sticker there without consulting me. To be frank, customers really shouldn't be banging on the glass anyway. So I, uh, haven't bothered to correct them, you know? So, uh, is that it, then? Praise the phone lord. Saw someone play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines and while trying to feed on a psychopath, he got slapped by a severed arm healed by his by said psychopath. What? Okay, so after two visits, it might be time to let Jerry be. Well, it could be from you, you abruptly and routine, routinely assaulting his workplace with your unsolicited pres presence. Yeah, that usually does, though, right? What now? Leave the area. Um. So, what now? Well, ain't this homely. This particular portion of the hallway is really neat. I despise this wretched location. Huh. It's not like you and you to enjoy the things. What do you find so neat about it? The uh, clown painting uh, to the right of the uh, uh, to the right of the doorway. Good lord, I almost missed that. How very gosh. I don't know. Hard to think they've gone extinct, isn't it? I mean, most scholars reckon that seven foot tall ape men are no longer walking around all willy nilly, nilly, but you seem dead set on Bigfoot being a neighbor of yours. I saw him, damn it! But fleshy people with clown noses are completely mythical to you? Well, Bigfoot didn't historically fight the phonification process. Ah, the great clown protest. Thousands of clowns marching to on Washington, D.C., trying to protect democracy and resist getting their heads replaced with technology. Democracy? Bullshit! They just didn't want scientists poking around in them. Finding out how, just how and why clowns lay eggs. Yeah, and then the politicians called it in the riot squad and, their, and, their, and with their newfangled gun heads. They tried to reason with clowns, but uh, their words came out as machine gun fire. Or so the Gum, gub, 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 government wants us to think. Shut up. And with each bullet that penetrated the clown's flesh, a loud honk sounded from the bullet wound. On the inside, society cried for democracy, truly died that day. But on the outside, we burst into a gut laughing from the fucking haunts. Democracy itself was massacred before our very eyes. I never had a massacre sound so gut wrenchingly hilarious. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's just knock on the door, shall we? Let's. Ah! 
<gasps> a womb woman. A womb man. What womb woman? What, what? What? What am I saying? Can I help you? Well, are you just gonna stand there gawking, or did you, or did you knock on my door for an actual reason? Given the choice, I choose to go. Rats. So back to the yes, back to the hallway. God, it's like Chauvet when he tries to socially interact. He sucks at it. By Jove, a door! It sure is. Shall I knock on it? Well, normally, I'd say you can if you want, but please don't. But, well, the door's actually only closed. Over. You can just open it if you'd like. Open the door. Uh, hey, man. So, like, can I sleep on your couch? <laughs> Shabet, what's it mean to be normal? <laughs> wow, I just think I thought my life was sad. Oh, well, I hope I see me cheered up th that man even just a little. Wow, that guy was almost as pathetic as Randy. Holy shit. I guarantee you, empathetically, if that man just found out that th that he had a week to live before you show up just now, he's probably down to three days left now. Tops! Back to the hallway then, I guess. Huh. Looks like this door isn't even fully closed. So, back to the hallway? Yes! I should, I should save. Ah, the park. You can roll on the uh, roll, roll around on the nice spring grass. I almost said glass or grass. Gra 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 I don't know what I was. What? Okay. Unless you mind getting a few discard syringes stuck in your arm. So what now? Back on, on the street from whence you came. Randy. Why'd you wander, wander in here, Falky? A phone shop of all places? I'd have to do repairs for poor people with stitched together flesh heads, you know, if. You know, if that's what you're looking for. I mean, forget the flush thing. I doubt there's any repairing whatever's up with you, as of late. Something wrong, Falky? The, the phone. Shove it. If I become a vampire, will I turn into a bat cat? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Ask your dad, shove it. Oh, wait. He's too busy having dinner with his rich friends. Doesn't pay mind to you, huh? 
too busy, I don't know, playing ice hockey with toast. What am I saying? Someone answer the goddamn phone! Hold your horses, sweetie. Hold your horses. What's up? What are you hauling the- hollering for, hollering for, for, hun? Where am I? Is- is this heaven? No, wait. This is a place too drab for that. The river sticks, perhaps? Oh, I gotcha. Because of all the phone cases. Those ain't skulls, hun. They're just empty cases. I don't understand. Do you want to understand? The gang, the gang real clan in bloodlines lets you become a bat-like monster. Oh yeah, what is this place? Can you just give a brief summary? No, I... We're standing in the D Dial Town phone store. Shop's near a hundred, hundred years old now. Set up in, by my paw. God rest his soul. Shop initially so sold whole telephones, but with the, them being so common nowadays, well, we've ad adapted to fit the current market. Not every purchase that has has to break the bank, you know. A, a, a hundred pieces sell just as good as one complete phone. I find. What? Same thing goes for the most aspects of life. I find. I also find. There's nothing wrong with building yourself up by bit by bit. Now, if you want to know about something specific, I'm sure I can oblige. Can I see Randy around? Let me stop you right there, hon. I know six men, at least two horses named Randy. I'd wager you aren't looking for either of them Them two horses, are ya? No, Randy's human and like a chew toy, but like for swans. All right, then describe him. Ah, shit. Member qualities. Uh, he usually he's usually wet and smells like tires. Oh, he also sh shrieks constantly. You're not being awfully specific now, are you? Oh, come on, that describes Randy perfectly. That also describes most possums, in fairness. I'm gonna drink some water. The. What? The... The Ventru... The Ventru clan are rich mind controllers. Nosferatu clan are sneaky and have the ugly. Just the ugly? Do they look like hairless cats? Do they have rat tails that they can suddenly pop up to, to use as blankets? Ah, oh, shit. It's fine, I'll just ask someone else. Right, then. Next question. I'm fine, thanks. See ya. Alright, take care now. You hear? Stream bloodlines, and you can kill an old lady in a diner if she looks at you. You hear the definition of, of the ugly barnacle. Oh, oh dear. Okay, I've got it. Hear me out, hear me out. Uh-huh. Okay, so you know how gambling is always a wise idea? Hmm. My idea is basically that I should gamble. I don't know if that's such a good idea. What? Why on God's green earth not? Well, firstly, the idea of gambling is that you put money in Lady Lux, a gambling pot, and either win double or you- or when you- or when you put in or get nothing. That sounds fun. I like risks. Consider considering you often eat roadkill fresh off the ground- yeah, trust me, I know. 
What does that have to do with risk? Tapeworm. Sorry, go on. To take financial risk, you need to have a starting capital. You know, unless you're like a bank or a sketchy construction real estate company. And Mayor I am do that you're penniless? Aw, oh, shit, that sucks. This is America! It's my God-given right to gamble. God-given. I'm at least 60% sure that's the holy ring- ring- ringble has versus against social. What? Shut. All right, do all the fun things that require money. Do all fun things require money. Okay. I'm afraid so, yes, literally without exception. But what about de devouring gravel? That's free. Only because you refuse to pay for the gravel. You know, the most construction, you know, the most, that most construction sites company, the construction sites in the city have a photo of your mug plastered on every notice board on site, along with shoot on site notice, right? Ah, shit, so what are my options? Well, right now, your dirt po- which is dirt po, which is already the typical end, uh, end point of gambling. So really, you've just cut d out the middleman, who in this case is a blackjack dealer in a bow tie who smells like whiskey and vomit. Huh, what do most people do at this point? Go through your lengthy divorce, drink heavily, typically. Right then, to the bar I go. Aha! Welcome to the lock and whiskey, my green friend. My name is Pierre. We don't serve hobos, that means you, God. <laughs> my name is Pierre, I'll be your barman tonight. Teehee, your name is, is, is the same as the one Doc Kandu's park at. Yes, yes it is. So, what's your poison? I'm satisfied. See you later, Pierre. All right, take care now. You here? Well, here we are again. What now? I'll try sniffing this time. Hey, you! We've spoken about this, you literal cryptid. Get away from the glass or I'll- Randy! Randy? Yeah, what about him then? Someone told me that he used to work here. Well, yeah, he did, but I fired that lout a long time ago. Hasn't stopped him from burrowing under my skin, though, like that, like the human tick he is. You know what they say, give a man an inch, and then Randy lives in your dumpster. Are you saying that Randy's in your dumpster right now? Y yes Huh, odd. Hey, at least he pays rent, which means he at least compensates for my waste of time, unlike some people. Yeah, what inconsert scoundrels, right? Yes, yes. Be gone for me, green one. Bitch. Minga says buy war bonds. Well, here we are. Behold, dumpster. Where is he? Bunny's burger. Just get your own trash. Okay. Call out to him, Falky. Use your voice. Randall! I summon thee! Hey! Hold on a moment. I- I'm coming. Please don't leave, unless you're an angry taxman, in which case, please do. I'm an enraged ca garbage collector. You're my dumpster pal. Lie. God, you're utterly pathetic. Hun, it's me! It's Falky! Oh, oh! Phone Lord! Definitely don't go anywhere. Hold on. H hey, hun! It's so good to see you! Oh, oh, phone god, I haven't even scrubbed the wax out of my receiver pores. I- You look nice. Fuck you, asshole! I look fucking splendid! <laughs> you ever noticed 
The Lightyear movie has Doom aesthetics. Why does a Pixar movie look like Doom? Wait, what? Wait, what? Lightyear. You're not so bad looking yourself, my garbage nectar so fun. Please don't tell me that. Me being soaked in garbage juice is turned on for you. Would, would you rather I despise you for it? What? You can't, you can't, what? I can't. Oh. <coughs> Why would you say that? Stop saying such things. Stop talking. <sighs> well, welcome to Ca Casa del Randy, I suppose. Don't bother wiping your feet. They'll just get filthy as soon as you enter. Trash is my element, Randy. My feet literally can't get any dirtier. I, I mean, I know you might smell like trash, but I just assumed it was a, like, like the smell of your egg-laying juices, maybe. That's speciesist. But alas, you are also indeed correct, yes. Yeah, I, I assumed as much. I've never seen seen an egg being laid, laid that didn't come out moist, and boy do swans churn a lot of those things out. Right, right, swan eggs, indeed. This, uh, this whole poverty thing you have going on. You know, living in a dumpster, working off of jobs and whatnot. How'd you end up in this boat? If my life's a boat, then it's, it's the Titanic right now. Look, I don't get, don't, look, don't get me wrong. That's an excellent question, but boy, oh boy, do not, do I not want to answer that? You can drop the topic if you're, if you're not comfortable. No, I... <sighs> Thanks for the concern, but nah. I need to get all of this rival off my chest. But not here. A gentleman doesn't just brandish his unmentionables in an, any old burger place alley. Do you want to come out? Do you want? Do you want me to come inside? Please do. Yes. Ah! Time to take the plunge, or just you know, climb in in, in like a sensible person. I've never been able. I've never been sensible in my life, Randy. Soundtrack reminds me of Goat Sim. Oh yeah. Have you ever heard of the upcoming? Oh, Buzz. It does look like, uh, Doom. Yeah, I, I actually thought it looked kind of oddly, um, what's the word? Apocalyptic? And I don't wish for, for wish to change my wicked ways for you. A woo guide to the trash I go! Imagine, like, years later, I'm trying to get a job at some high-end place, right? And, um, my employer is reading my resume and, you know, they do background checks on you or something, I don't know. And then they find my YouTube channel and they click on this video. Password omelets. Well, here we are. Place looks uh, a little nicer from the outside, doesn't it? That's not saying much, Randy. I'm, at, I'm, I'm bad at comp pump comparing shitty things, Randy. Ouch. You know I'm right! Okay, fair enough. You are correct. This place is pretty crummy, I admit it. The outside probably just looks better for me because half of the time I see the outside, I'm leaving home to go somewhere, someplace nicer. Like work, which is, come to think of it, really not, no, not nicer than here. Be between being here and being wild by salons, I'd blow, I'd blow my brains out. That's encouraging. Still, gonna jot that suggestion down for later, though. Just in case. So, uh... What the tragic backstory of yours? Oh, right. Uh, well, look. Much like myself, my life story is pretty needless and pathetic. You see, it all started when I was born. Unfortunately, I was born a mere infant at zero years of age. Couldn't walk, couldn't talk. I just lay in my own feces till I got changed. But look at how far you've come. I'm living in a dumpster. Exactly. Nowadays you can walk. Nowadays you can walk. You can talk. And now you can get, go, get to lie in other people's feces. 
Well, when you put it like that. I, I sound a sold 3% less pathetic. I mean, that's not a whole lot, but. It's still three whole, per, three whole percent less pathetic than I was 10 seconds ago. Weren't you telling me about your dreadful life? Oh, right. Well, you know, I've been lar I've I've largely lived a perfectly adequate life. Perfectly adequate, bordering on mediocre, that is. I had an admittedly rather lousy apartment worked full time at the burger place whose dumpsters were squatting in right now. Then one day I decided to do something I'd rarely done before. I decided to try something new. You you bought a crack pipe? No, I, I do, do I really come off as a crackhead to you? Hey, it's hard for me not to. I have swan rash for your information. Sorry, let me continue. <laughs> I decided to go to the fun fair. Same one that you and I visited on our first date. You mean our only date? Yeah, Jerry's incredibly familiar with both me and the immense haze of misfortune that always seems to follow me around. By the way, Jerry really doesn't seem comfortable around you. He's right. He's right not to be. I bite. Don't worry, it's probably just because of my constant unsolicited flirting. Flirt, flirting? Flirt? I, I, you know what? I'll just go with this one. Not as much as the guy who wrote the lore for the Dark Elves. So do rabbit street dogs and swans, but I've never seen Jerry so much as consider calling animal control on, on those creatures. Granted, if he did, it'd be me that turned up after he calls in, and then he'd just see me getting mauled by, by warring hounds and swans from the other side of the glass. Anyway, visiting the fun fair with my then date turned out to be a trashy, abysmal idea. Did a clown honk at you? No, no, I... Clowns aren't even real! Oh, or so the government wants us to think. Sorry, continue. Well, after realizing that I was too much of a shameless coward for any ride that moved faster than a hot dog stand, which was stationary, I realized that my date was getting really bored with my crippling cowardice. As I desperately gazed around the nearby vicinity for any for, for an attraction, any attraction I was brave enough to go on, I noticed something off in the not so di distant distance. An old fortune teller animatronic inside a tacky purple pine and glass pine, purple pine and glass case, cast aside in a barely lit corner of the fun fair, far away from the other attractions. Ah, here we go. This is starting to make sense now. I feel like I'm about to find out why you bailed at the end of our date. Yeah, the thing is, the thing looked half deserted, and you know what? It probably was, being a tacky animatronic shoved into a barren corner of the fun fair. From what I could see, only spiders and mold seemed to take much of notice of the, of the machine. But even the name of the machine fits its appearance. Madam Mediocre. I felt drawn to it, as if the machine and I were somehow kindred. Anywho, deciding to approach that thing ended up being a train wreck and a half. Did the machine fall on your foot or something? No! I... Did it steal your date? Not literally, no. Then what happened? I was getting to that part. I crept over to the little machine and carefully slipped a quarter in, into its coin slot. My last quarter. And just like that, the machine sprang to life, lights and all. Then, a hazy, pre-recorded voice emanated from the small speaker embedded in the, mannequin, in, embed, embedded in the mannequin's torso. Place your hands upon my glass and I shall read your aura and gaze upon your future. I was terrified, admittedly. I mean, I already had a real-life woman next to me as is, and I might as well have been a triple date at that point. My date reassured me, and I slowly outstretched both of my hands to place them against the murky old glass of the machine. 
the moment my palm so much as brush the surface of the glass, the machine starts screaming at me as if I just set off an air raid siren. The same words over and over again, at the deafening volume. Your future is forfeit, you will die alone and miserable, go fuck yourself! Over and over and over again. Huh, so that thing can thing can tell the future then. My poor baby! Wait for it, it gets worse. I'm not gonna lie, what followed wasn't exactly my fi finest hour. And the phone god forbid my tortured and, and phone god forbid my tortured shriveled gonades actually managed to spear out any kids. I don't want them remembering me for this after I'm gone. Well, what did you do? Well, my fight or flight response kicked in and I screamed like a prepubescent girl and throttled the machine. And then the machine fell on your foot? Why do you keep insisting that, machine, that the machine fell on my, onto my foot? So you're saying that it definitely didn't. In a way, I guess it did. The machine fell straight on top of me. Whole body. Okay, yep, that's a kicker. The machine kept wailing for the entire deal while I was pinned under it. And it took four men to lift the machine off of me. I was pretty banged up, but hey, I noticed that my head was just about in one piece, meaning I, I, I was still very much alive. A Christmas miracle. It wasn't Christmas. Yes, smile serenely. I stumbled around, and really having, having a pretty gnarly concussion. My date asked if I was okay, and I, uh... Kinda stumbled hand first and grabbed her, uh... Memory, mem memory melons. And she responded by screaming and pushing me, causing me to fall backwards, hitting me my already damaged head on nearby rock, which caused my entire head to be cleaved in twain and my circuits and wires to spill out. You smell your disgusting grain of innards all over the place? God, how embarrassing. I woke up in the emergency room in a, few, in a few days later. Apparently, the doctors just about managed to patch me back up with some considerable difficulty. Oh. Well, the blunt trauma of the impact kind of dented and broke most of my internal turntables. Interntables? Interntables? Wait, what I, why did I say turntables? Hi, my name's Falky. I'm a fucking idiot. Moving on. But my internal internables. Lunchables? My brains and whatnot, you know? The dogs were able to just about get everything back in one piece, but really struggled to put the misshapen parts back into my head. The main surgeon bandaged my head back up and chatted to me while applying the bandage. I mentioned in passing that due to the difficulty of getting all the bits of my of brain, skull, broken glass, and foam pieces back into my head, that if I took the bandage off for even a second, kaboom! Oh my god! Why? The doctor put dynamite in your head? No! He meant that my head exploded on its own. You know, pop like a gigantic oozing pimple? Oh. Oh my fucking god. So that's why you're wearing that bandage even now. Correct. Even now. If I were to take it off even for a moment. But I don't get why is get is why your bandage says fuck has fuck face written on it. Alright. That! So basically, while the doctor put the finishing touches on badges, I was telling about my evening for my mediocre date of the machine falling to the machine falling on me. And Doc laughed and stated that it was quite a small world because his daughter had been on, on a date at the same fun for her on the same night as the accident. And that her date had also been crushed by a fortune telling machine before groping her before groping her falling backwards and then Oh dear. Well, at that point, the doctor realized just how small the world really was and decided to write fuckface across my bandage because of the whole groping his daughter fiasco. Rear beat. Okay, have, have fun, Feral. Yikes. Why don't you, you just, you know, wash it off? I tried, believe me. As soon as I got home, I tried. I could have gone into work with fuckface written across my forehead and getting fired would have been losing my only source of income and my admittedly lousy but only place to live. Oh come on, it wouldn't have been that hard to get some walker off me. Well, why couldn't you get it out then? 
it, it's deep in the fibers. I tried water, soapy water, bleach, drain cleaner. I would have just drank the bleach drain cleaner individually. Sorry, continue. Well, I must have passed out from the drain cleaner fumes because I, uh, I turned up for my shift at the burger joint three days late, high as a kite and holding possum in my arms. And this is say bunny fired me on the spot. Yeah, that'll do it all right. So then I end up losing my the apartment and you know, lo I lost my job, lost my apartment, lost my self-respect and my hope for a better future, but I gained a possum. Please tell me you kept that possum. I didn't so much keep it. I just, it just kind of followed me, you know? I think it believes that I'm its mother. Aw, it devour it for nourishment? No! Aw, it loves you. It keeps screaming at its own ass. It just keeps screaming. It knows no love, only screaming. Oh, hey, there it is right now. How to play possum. Living in squalor, how to make a trash nest presentable. Screaming at your own ass, a truly enga engaging pastime. Sorry, diversions. How to break up a narrative monotony with music. Cut away. He's adorable. He's flea ridden. You're just jealous. Of what? He's his fleas? Of how much I care about him. I'm not. I mean, you, you've just met him. And I die for him, Randy. Look, pause semantics aside, I... I've been renting this dumpster from, from my old boss since it's technically the cheapest property in town. And I still barely make enough to pay that hungry bastard's gougy rent with how much money I lose from getting mugged by hostile birds and losing tips by depressing the weirdo customers who call the phone sex hotline. I... I can't stand for this anymore. This place is depressing enough as is, and... And reliving why I'm here just made me realize that th at this rate, I'm going to die in here, cuddling a discarded body pillow in a randy made nest comp comprised solely of used syringes and old newspaper. I have a feeling he's gonna commit suicide, so I'm just gonna save, like, right here. Yeah, who knows? Maybe maybe it'd finally kill me. Wouldn't that be a sweet release? I need to get out of here. I want to see the world. Okay, scratch that. The world is scary and hostile. And I'm, I'm made out of, out of paper and other such fragile, fragile things. I need to see somewhere that isn't here. I... Hang on a second. How long have we been talking for? I'm late for work, aren't I? Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Yeah, you're off the chain now, Randy. Go truly nuts! Yeah, well, I was wondering why I couldn't find you at the park, to be, to be frank. No, you wouldn't understand. All that, I have nothing to lose talk was just... TALK! I could lose my dumpster. It's all I have left! Oh, phone god. There's some- there's somehow a place- if- There's somehow a place even lower for me to sink to. I could go back to the streets, man. I reek of desperation. Actual alpha male thugs will smell my whimpering cowardice and instantly attempt to mug me. And then they realize that I have nothing left to take. They'll take their frustration out by taking turns hitting me over the head with garbage can lids. Worry not, I'll protect them from you. I'll protect you from them, hun. Oh, sure. So you spit cryptid acid onto a few thugs for me, but what then? What, what of my life? I don't know what I'm going to do if I lose this job. And I need to get to work. I'm sorry, I, I just- I'm sorry to just dis ditch you like this. You deserve better. You've been nicer to me than anyone else so far, and I have no idea why. Okay, fine. You haven't actually been that cons consistently nice to me. But I have nobody else left. So this is goodbye then? For a whole five or so hours till my shift at the park is over, yes. Wait a second. Dude, I live in a tent at the park! 
Wait, did you say that you dwell in a tent at the park? Oh dear, that's quite unfortunate. You live in a dumpster, Randy! It's a good life, dear Randall. Living in a tent has its benefits. I- like? No rent, greedy landlords, annoying roommates. Minus my close proximity to drug dealers and the hostile pawnbirds. It's not a bad gig. Yeah, no, thank you. As awful as this dumpster is, if I had to spend another second in that park than necessary, I'd just end up ripping this damn bandage off. Right, but then you wouldn't have fuckface on your forehead anymore, though. Yeah, and my brains would spill out. But then you wouldn't have fuck- you, you wouldn't be a fuckface anymore, either. I'll just quickly jot, jot down that suggestion, too. But I mean... My point was, you're heading towards where I live. So we're ac actually going the exact same way, Randy. Why not make this, uh... A date? Oh, wowee! I've never been asked you on a second date before! HELL YEAH! Nice dance moves, Randy! Well, obviously it's not a date thing. I'm just really bored. Why wouldn't I? I did enjoy the last one, you know. Who's a cutesy, lovable bum like you? Aww! I think not, hon. Oh, baby! <laughs> I am not botching this! As a second date, I... Finally, something to cross off my bucket list, right between Pet a Smooth Rock and die somewhere other than inside a fast food place st toilet stall. We, uh, we can work on the rest of the list later. Well then, let's waste no time. After you, my sweet. Uh, swatch step. The, uh, moisture trash can get quite sl slippery. Alright, just 15 more minutes of walking and- excuse me? It's only 15 more minutes until we hit the- 15 MINUTES?! Okay, unless you have some kind of cryptid propulsion system that allows you to get around without using your legs. It surely must have taken you at least 15 minutes to walk here from the park. SUBWAY! You took the subway here? Wait, I could've sworn that you've repeatedly said that you're literally penniless and poverty-stricken. Oh, I don't pay my fare. I just usually hop on. And nobody- And nobody hassles you or asks to see your ticket? Nope, usually people just look the other way. Literally, people hate looking at me. I'm literally green, man. People leave me well enough alone. Huh. If you're with me, no ticket dude- New dudes are gonna bother you. Besides, I've never seen any staff down there. Whole subway's falling apart down there. It's lawless. <sighs> you know what? Why the heck not? I'll take the risk. To spend time with my dear and loving companion. After all, what could possibly go wrong? Your wallet, bozo. Hand it over. Or your dumb phone face gets it. Why did I trust you? You lay eggs. Hey, no need to be rude. Just because you're getting mugged doesn't mean you need to need doesn't mean you get to pout. Oh god, why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep l learning to hide in your shell for as much as your life as po as you can, like a hermit crab lesson, and then sp sporadically keep unlearning it just to make my own life even worse? This sucks. Your ideas suck. Also, yes. Hey, am I fucking invisible? The wallet, bozo, or I'll start a stabbing. But y you're holding a gun. You can't. You will learn what it's like to be stabbed with a gun if you don't hand that wallet over. So help me, phone god. Oh god, oh god, sir, I don't have a wallet. I. Wait. You don't have a wallet? Bullshit. Everyone's got one. I, uh, uh... 
So, what do you carry your money around in then? I, I only have change. I don't... Then hand it over! I don't care if it's a mere pittance. I demand monetary compensation for this so far fruitless endeavor. Falky? This is the only money I have left. Should I... Oh god, what the hell do I say? Randy's gonna get turned to fucking syrup. Well, there could be more than a dollar fifty in his pockets. It's not worth, worth risking your life for a dollar fifty. Fuck that. Agreed. What would he even spend a dollar fifty on anyhow? A single cup of coffee? A fistful of gravel? Gravel may be nutritious. But it's not worth dying for. But then again. It's, is Randy just gonna take everything sitting down forever? Randy being Randy? Yeah, he probably is. Until something comes along that kills him, even after he fully cooperates, that is. Oh god! I... Hun, what should I... Uh... Uh, it's probably gonna get him killed, but let's see. Y you think I can really stand up for myself? Well, why don't we find out? Uh, okay. Uh, listen here, you scoundrel. I'm a proud citizen, and I... I'm armed. You're not. Just hand over the change, man. Uh, oh, alright. Here. That's every penny I've got to my name. Cool beans, thanks. You know what the funny thing is? This thing isn't even loaded. Uh, are you kidding me? Heh, I've gotten good enough to, at this to know, to, to, to know only to tell you that after I'm done robbing you. Ha ha ha, I'm so great. If the gun's not loaded, then uh... May I have some of my change back, please? Some? Why are you negotiating with him, Randy? Asking for all your- ask for all your money back. It's a no either way, bozo. Negotiate, Randy! It's the art of the deal. For the record, I said that this thing wasn't loaded. Not that I could snap your neck like a breadstick if I felt like it. Bandages. Okay, that's completely fair. H have a nice day. You're pathetic, man. Later, bozos. Did I do good, hun? I just heard dried leaves crunching in my arousal gland. What the fuck? Ugh. For about six seconds? Sure. And what a nerve-wracking six seconds they were indeed. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm a damn train wreck. A mere schmuck. Why, I can't even avoid getting mugged right. Don't beat yourself up, Randy. Getting mugged is r is rarely voluntarily. By definition, isn't it never voluntary? I know about that, man. After all, some people pay taxes willingly. Cha-cha-cha, I'm here all night, folks. Yep, still got it. Let's just sit quietly and wait till we get to the park. Well, here we are. Our used syringes, discarded condoms, and enraged avians filled paradise. Phone god, I hate this place. Ah! Oh, it's not so bad. I have no idea why I said that. It's literally so terrible here. Fuck, this is an absolutely wretched location. Yep, this place is a truly wretched hive of pond scum and bird villainy. So, what now? I... 
Guess I'll get to work. You see any hostile swans nearby? I feel alright. Guess you should take it the take these out, those out then. Randy's obituary. Those are fair-ish odds, right? What? Five to one? Oh, okay, that's what it, okay, yeah, yeah, that's that's what it said. More than more usual than fair, perhaps. Yeah. Heck it, I can't do this anymore. Those things are medium-sized dog-scaled feathered dinosaurs with snake necks, and they have teeth. This isn't worth any amount of money, and I certainly and certainly not the kind of money I get for it. If only I hadn't used that damn fortune teller machine. This whole chain reaction of ab abject of abject misfortune would, wouldn't have, have even happened. Ah, who am I kidding? Y you, you were right. I need to stick up for myself. Things won't ever get better if I don't show the world that I deserve better, you know? Yeah, show the world that you're not, not the sack of shit it thinks you are. Yeah, I... Wait, people think I'm a sack of shit? Not, not for long with that right attitude. You're right. I should have the attitude of a winner. They say you should dress for the job. You, they say you should dress for the job you want. After all, not the job you have. And you do sort of dress like a hobo, which gives out a conflicting message. Mainly that I'm a hobo? Yeah, that's the one. I, I need to take charge of my own destiny, or die trying. I'm hoping it won't come to that, and that uh, sim and that simply trying will be sufficient enough, but you know. Oh, hold on. I'm uh, I'm getting a call on on the hotline. Randy, you aren't actually going to take this. Randy, you aren't actually going to take this. I'm back. Welcome back, Farrell. I'm sure it'll, uh, I'm sure it'll take but, but a jiffy. Maybe the customers maybe the customer will finish quicker if I cry during. This is grim, man. Hello, sir, madam. My name is Randy Jade, and I'm Randy for you tonight. I I'm sorry, M my manager forces me to say that. Yeah, yeah, I know the spiel. Yada yada. Wait a minute, that voice. All right, let's get down to business. What are you wearing, darling? Well, I, I'm kind of wearing a denim jacket, a white plaid shirt with a busted button, and I've got bandages on my... Yeah, you got... You, yeah, you dirty slut, you would be... Hang on. Did you say bandages? Well, yeah, I... I Out of curiosity, did you just get off the subway a little while ago? Yeah? How did you know? DUDE! I just mugged you! That was me! Uh oh, N nice to. Small world, am I right? Oh my fucking god. Yeah, I get. Dude, I'm just using your pittance of a of a hall to call you right now. I'm literally using your last fistful of change in order to get my rocks off. Boy, what a world. Falky, I think I'm gonna start crying, and now I'm actually worried that it'll that it'll enhance the experience for th that the experience for him. Randy, hey, a sweet lips, he's still there. I, I, yeah, of course you are. I've got the, I've got, I've got the one dollar and fifty-five cents. So the next four minutes, uh, it'll take me to finish this call, amongst other things. I'm a VIP. So doll, so doll, talk, do, do, so doll, talk doity to me. Hello, Falky. Hello, Luna. I, 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 Randy. Y yes, Falky. Randy, come on, man. This is be- this is beneath you! But- but this is my job, Falky. A at least one of them- HELL YEAH IT'S YOUR JOB, SWEET CHEEKS! It's your job to serve me! To please me! S sweet CHEEKS?! Fal! What cheeks?! I don't have a face! My head is a fu- Oh, don't play co coy. You know exactly which set of cheeks I meant. Randy, hang up on him now or I'm leaving you. You're worth more than this. Okay, I except I'm clearly not. Except you clearly are. Randy, no offense, but your life is objectively worse than mine. 
Worse than you. Ah, shit. I'm really blowing this whole living thing, aren't I? You can fix that at any moment, though. I, I, you're right. I, I, I'm sorry, sir, but you're a bastard man, and I'm not helping you get off. Ex fucking excuse me? Why, how dare you? I'm a VIP, pal. A paying customer. It's my fucking money. Who on earth even hops on a subway just to mug people with an empty gun? I actually worked for that money, you hecker. You're just a persuasive beggar who has to pass himself off as a bigger threat than he is to get even a dime from people like me. Oh, shit. W why you... Pal, I'm just standing here in a murky phone box with my pants around my ankles, and you... Wow. You really are that pathetic, aren't you? That's actually kind of hilarious. I actually feel much less bad now. You might be the only person in Di all of Dialtown who needs that money more than I do. Uh, oh, don't you dare talk to me like I'm a fucking charity case. I'm tough as shit, man. I'll fuck you up. I- Now this, this is sad. Oh, you think you're real tough now that you're on the other end of a phone line, eh? Purdy boy. Mark my words, pal. I'll be searching for you, and I will find you. And I will make you pay for not getting me off. What the fuck is this? Just tracking one man across the entire city because he doesn't pity you enough to be willing to get you off? Jeez, talk about a cuck lord, eh, Falky? <laughs> it's so great when they say my name. Okay. Can you say that again, please, but louder? What? What? No, fuck you! It doesn't work if you're into being de degraded. I, I thought you want to be your- I thought it you wanted me to be your bitch a moment ago. I, I can be versatile. I I'm just gonna hang up now. What? No! You just reeled me back in! In! Do you know who I am, pal? I've got mob connections, man! I'll fuck you up! Y yeah, sure. Bye. No! Nobody hangs up on s- That was a good start, Randy. Although, do you think the mob connections bit was true? He did have a weapon head. Uh-oh, please. The Dialtown mob are only are the only crowd in this entire city who are more pathetic than me. I don't know about that. Uh-huh. Name one successful heist that they managed to pull off. Well, didn't they steal Tiger from the zoo? Nobody. They did that, but- They did, but that what that wasn't even the point of the heist. It wasn't? Nah, they were trying to rob the th 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 safe, but they fled when Theoror shot at them with his rifle. Game. Phone Mafia! One of the buffoons just happened to open the tiger pen on the way out, and the tiger followed them back to their base. And they didn't steal the tiger. They're stuck with it. Why not just return to the zoo? Considering that, th that Theoror has a loaded rifle and is willing to use it, that'd be a bad idea to say the least. They did try dropping it off at the city pound three times, but every time the people there said, and I quote, Puss puss two chonkers! Ah, drat. So wait, are you done with both jobs then? You know what? I guess I am. Swans and all. I can't face the swans again. I'm not strong enough. I'll say, they'd mug you worse than that knife cuck did. They can smell weakness, you know. And with no money left to take, they'll gladly settle for your dignity. Oh, and your kneecaps. Definitely those two. But, but, I use those every day. Th those bastard birds can't have them. Yeah, the only person to ever touch your kneecaps should be you. And an, an unlicensed Colombian physician in a certain very unsus- In certain very unspecified circumstances. Yeah, that, uh, sounds mostly correct. Yes! But, yeah, wrangling swans and wrangling schmeckin' weppers over the phone is beneath me. PRIDE! Good for you, hon. 
Thanks. I feel so optimistic, and I'm not even angry about the alpha swan eating this eating this month's rent receipt. It feels good to be hopelessly optimistic, even if my whole life is logistically in ruins. Oh, by the way, do you uh think I could stay at yours tonight? Uh, don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know what to say. I, I, whatever it is, it better not be more ceaseless stuttering. N no, it's just clear. Okay, hold on. Clear addiction, motherfucker. Do you speak it? S sorry. Let's just enter the tent then. Whoa. So this is your tent. No, it's Constantinople. Well, it could be our tent if it, if you wanted it to be. You really you, you really mean it? No, I mustn't. It's it's a gracious offer and it means a lot to me, but well, I don't exactly know how much sleep I get every night being more being mere feet away from those aggressive feather necked feather feathered snake neck monsters. Not an issue. The kids on the playground go home once it gets dark. You thought I meant- You see a child that fits that exact description over on the playground, PLEASE CALL THE ALIEN TASK FORCE! Or don't, actually. They probably want to be- t want to take a look at you two, come to think of it. Why would they take- what? Why would they want to take me in? You know those kids can be used for- can be used to be- You know those kids used to be great for free labor. Oh, because, uh, I... Because you're just so darned attractive that you're... Th that you're out of this world. You really think so? Bullshit, it's the egg thing, isn't it? <laughs> sure, why not? Aw, Randy. So, uh... I know it's a bit sun, but, uh... Since we're back at your place, we could always, uh, you know... Fuck like nuclear rabbits when we were trying to outfuck the entirety of Chernobyl. He called it the Lord. Oh god. Ugh. Nobody game. Kids equals free <laughs> free labor. Okay, let's just save here because I don't want to fucking do the wrong choice. I don't know, should I risk my channel getting deleted and uh <laughs> Let's, let's fucking go. Not how I would have phrased it, but yeah, that is indeed what I was getting at. I mean, they're phones. What is you? What is YouTube gonna get all pissed about? It's a fucking phone, okay? Hot dog. Now, both, neither, what? Ah! Makes me mad, I just keep feeling, ah! YouTube got pissed at people putting emotes in Markiplier stream and deleting their Google, what? Uh, what?
what the fuck? My brain is dead. <laughs> You're welcome. You uh you okay, Falky? H H H H H H H H H H H H H I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> oh god! YouTube, please don't delete my channel. <laughs> Man, it's moments like these that make me glad that we aren't be all being constantly observed by an out of universe entity. Glad you aren't being um, observed by more than one entity. Did the game make that noise? Yeah. You can do what you like on the floor. Good night, Randy. <laughs> After all, my crate's big enough for the two- CRATE?! <laughs> Is that fire sound similar to crate? Am I slave sleeping in that thing? Oh, it's true. <laughs> well, like, the fucking crate but won't get out of my <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's fair. YouTube, where's the brain bleed? <laughs> This is nice. Good night, Falky. Good night, you wretched thing, you. <laughs> well, here we are. Alas, morning. Ah, another beautiful morning. God, my fucking eyes! Is it always this fucking bright? Around this time? Yeah, usually. God, fuck! I'm surprised you even have eyes. Do you? Eyes, optical sensors, potato, potato. Point is, I'm in agony, you disembodied wretch. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, Randy sounds just to sleep, so uh, you wanna go back to bed? Bright! Okay, yeah, scratch that then. You got any backup ideas? Do I look like a creature that has ideas? Nah, please, narrator. Drive this awful plot long for me. You look like you lay eggs. Exactly! Ha! I win! In fairness, I said you look like you lay eggs. Not that you look totally idealist. Name any eggly creature known for coming up with even one idea. Fuck you. Do Komodo dragons count? Oh, fuck off. What ideas have they ever come up with? They uh, came up with the idea to jack their venom into their prey with their saliva, stalk their prey till their, their prey collapses, and then devour their body whole. <laughs> you think those scaly bastards came up with that idea? Clearly, you've never met my ex. Did you spray copious amounts of musty sludge on your ex for startling you on your first date? Shut! What do I do? What do? What do now? I don't know. You could just go to the fairground, check, check on those eggs of yours. Capital idea! Let's do that! But first... Ah! Me medicine! I think you're meant to, uh... Take maybe a spoonful at most of that stuff at any given time and only if you're sick. Oh boo-hoo! Better send me to jail! Cause I drank too much cough nectar! Stop calling it that. Cryptid away! This game is glorious. Oh god, oh no, I- TICKET JERRY! Please, no, my life in search just ran out. My- my Elastians, they need their ointments, I- Please, oh persistent goblin, I'm too tired to die. I simply won't have- I simply won't have- have to- I simply won't have to energy to jolt back to life and start a new religion based on the hellish afterlife that I'll claim I saw beyond the peripherals of, uh, of undeath. I can change that. If you die, then come back. Can I join your doomsday cult? Eat a whole animal carcass and then go back to slumbering. Truly a momentous life. Who needs a wife, a career, a, or aspirations of any kind when you can just wake up at dusk and eat some roadkill? Would you mind if I had a snack right now? Is the snack roadkill? No. 
I don't believe you. Yes. Then no, bitch. Anywho, what are you actually here for then? Fun fair! Let me in! Guttural ape noises. <laughs> okay, that really hurt my throat. I need to drink water. Why do you keep resorting to ape speak as a negotiation tactic? Alright, back to the insanity. Look, can I be real with you? This is- this egg quest this is exactly something that I can easily explain to my boss. Like, say my boss checked the CCTV footage, footage and asked why I let you enter without paying for a ticket. What do I even say? My scary friend wishes to check on the eggs they, that they laid in your fun fair. I'll see if that sounds pretty good to me. Perfectly understandable. Well, yeah, I'm sure that this is a very common cryptid dilemma. But my boss is very much human. He drinks coffee, not bat piss, and he files taxes yearly so he can live in a house. Civilization sounds scary. You know, you might find it pretty straightforward if you actually domesticated yourself. Hard pass, I'm feral and proud. Proud of living in a tent and fighting swans for, for soggy pond bread? Is that really a rewarding life? Is yours. I... Alright, so I, can, I can't let you in, obviously. Sorry. That's okay, I'm used to being let down. Count yourself lucky if I name even one of my hatchlings af after you. Nope, I refuse to feel bad. You're green. You lay eggs. M m my heart, my exactly one, which is biologically normal. Broken heart. <clears throat> You're not letting me in because I'm green? I'm pretty sure that's called racism, Jerry. Are we even the, are we even the same species? Rats, well, it was worth a try. And for the record, the reason I'm not letting you in is because you don't have money for a ticket. This discrimination is strictly on a monetary basis. Look, I... Randy had some change with him last time you, you two were here, right? Why not see if it amounts to two whole dollars and use that to pay yourself in? I'm sure Randy's too downtrodden and submissive to do anything other than shove the money into your hands if you so much as suggest the idea to him. Yeah, no can do, Chief. It's all gone. It's... What, what happened to it? Randy got mugged, Jerry. They took every penny he had to his name. Oh, don't tell me the swans have developed a taste for sweaty copper and nickel coins, as well as human flesh. They were relentless, Jerry. They came from they came from the pond all at once. Nah, subway mugger put a gun to his head. I tried to coax him to stand up for himself, but... But he chickened out, spo soiled his pants, and then willingly took his beating with, without audible complaining, as per usual. Yeah, that's literally exactly what happened. Lord, how unfortunate. Guess it's just Randy's luck to get mugged, though, eh? What's that? Well, with that curse ruining his life, are you surprised? Wait. Curse? What now? The, the curse. He. Don't you remember? He got cursed by a fortune teller robot at this very fun fair. Oh come on! Surely you don't really believe in all this curse hex and and or bewitchment hogwash. I mean, I know you probably believe in, in the likes of Bigfoot, but... Bigfoot Israel! He and our, I are kindred spirits! Well, if Bigfoot was real, which he definitely is, then you two would definitely make, make quite the pairing. Fuck, I should have brought Bigfoot on that date instead of Randy. <laughs> Dating primordial ape men aside, what what were we talking about again? The uh, robotic fortune shelter rent wench wench cursing Randy. Yeah, about that. We've had that hunk of junk for years. 
My boss bought this stupid booth on a whim, whim ages and ages ago. Figured it'd make a good novelty attraction, I guess. But, uh, the thing is... Basically, the thing doesn't work. Like, at all. Hey, it was a mere lugger, not the boss man. Not my call. To be frank, the boss just threw the booth, booth over in one corner away from the rest of the other attractions. Figured people would just not bother with, with it till he could hire a cheap repairman to take it down it, I guess. Then, along came Randy. So wait. That was- what was actually up with the booth then? From what I understand, those gaudy Madame Mediocre booths were mass-produced by an arcade company as a dumb novelty attraction for arcades and the like. You put a quarter in, and her orb head lights up, and the speaker behind her head dispenses with random pre-recorded fortune. So, what's the deal then? The deal was that the bastard who programmed the randomizer got drunk the night before, and the cabinets all shipped out and thought it'd just be hilarious to add really rare responses to the fortune pool. Essentially, he decided to add one in a thousand chances of Madame Me Mediocre telling you that your future's gonna be full of ceaseless anguish and relentless torture. Fun. So I only got that- got the one in a thousand chance? Jeez, talk about unlucky, right? Yeah, lucky doesn't really come to it, actually. The drunken programmer didn't actually enter in the odds of one in a thousand, but instead a thousand and one. I wish I understood the numbers so I can understand what that means. Essentially, instead of Madame Mediocre saying that line once every a thousand or so times, she booted up, she said the line every time. Around a thousand times in the row, each and every time she was used. Com combine that with the speaker being stuck on the highest volume setting, and you've got a full explanation for exactly what happened to Randy. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. It took several of us just to pull the booth off the lovable bozo, and then... Well, then the thing kept screaming for hours after he was taken to the hospital. The moment it stopped, we just threw an out-of-order sign onto the thing and decided to pretend that it simply didn't exist. Honestly, it's worth wonder so far. So wait, I don't understand. Randy isn't really hexed then? Nope, he's neither hexed, jinxed, enchanted, cursed, bewitched, nor beware locked. He's merely Randy. Wait, what does that mean? Well, look, I'll admit his life is as bad as it probably could be, but... Well, work backwards is all I'm saying. I... I need to speak to Madame Mediocre. Firstly, I repeat, Madame Mediocre is non-sentient and non-magical in and a non-magical inanimate object. Secondly, I read it for the umpteenth time, you need a ticket to get to do that, my non-affluent goblin friend. Charge to the grate like a startled moose lost in a grocery store. I am dialing the police right now! There she is. Yep. Oh my. I'm standing right in front of her. Drilling. Hello, Madam Mediocre. Why, hello there, Sug. Y you can talk? Ticket Jerry told me that you're just an inanimate object. Oh, don't worry, Sug. He's completely correct. All this is happening in your head right now. I don't understand. Yeah, you're just really out of it right now, Sug. You chugged cough nectar this morning, don't forget. Yeah, I did do that, didn't I? Yeah, you sure did. What can Madame Mediocre do for, do for you, hun? On Chris Randy. Yeah, about that. Again, I'm not real in any shape or form, aside from the literal junk that is. So I cannot cast nor rebuke spells, hexes, or any of the like. Oh. Well, that's a letdown. Doesn't explain why Randy's such a miserable bastard then. Like Jerry said, work backwards. You know Ticket Jerry? I know everything you know, you Neanderthal. I'm squatting inside your head. Whoa, man. Wild. What's this about Randy then? 
every bad thing that's ever happened to him is because he just takes abuse and then convinces other people that he that he deserved it in the first place. He has a weak spirit. The swans know this. Look, let's be frank here. If Randy just inserted himself in the smallest possible way for any amount of time, he'd see instant improvement. Not Randy's fault that the world it's not Randy's fault that the world is so dreadful and that his life is so wretched. But it's his responsibility to fix his life. He want, if he wants to see better tomorrow. Huh. See, that's inspirational, but uh Randy's real gung-ho about this curse nonsense. I don't think he's gonna want to hear that he's the problem. Okay, look. Maybe just spoon feed him spoon feed him this information, but uh coated it in whimsy and magical riffraff. Might might just take it to he might just take it to it then. What does that entail? All you have to do is tell him that you spoke to me and that I'm willing to revoke his eternal curse and, and that he just has to come to the booth and I'll undo the enchanted whatever. Good idea, except for the fact that Randy is scared shitless of you. He wouldn't even entertain the idea of approaching you on our date. So that idea, like a possum floating in my po boy's gumbo, is dead in the water. I also take a Jerry call the police, so I should clear out of here relatively soon. Oh, I don't know. Fine, how about this? Gather some candles, some miscellaneous knickknacks and such, such, and then return to Randy. Tell him some witch doctors gave you magical annihilate all curses and other such cause of mockery ritual. But why? You said no, this magical stuff is real. Right, it isn't. You just need to make sure he thinks it's real for it to work. Oh, it's like a placebo effect. You mean the placebo effect? Placebo. Placebo. Placid bone. Of all the mines I could have come from. Is there anything else you want then, Saga? Sorry, hon. I'm cheap, but I ain't free cheap. Do you have 25 cents? Yes. No. You don't need psychic powers to, psychic powers to, to, to predict your future, Sug. Just to predict what, with, the, with which bad regen your, your lifeless husk of a body will turn up in one day. I hate that you're right. The game has enough world building to justify a book. Yeah. Any other questions, my dear? Okie dokie. Just remember what I said, hon. You, uh... Your syrup-filled mind isn't just gonna forget all this the moment you walk away, is it? Wait. Where am I again? I forget. I forget. Are you Randy? You're cursed! You're cursed forever! You will be devoured by... You will be devoured whole by time and return to the... Gr return to the gutters from whence you came as green! Tire tracked roadkill. That's a given. You're just pointing out the obvious. Wow, you really are a fraud. Bummer. Leave my sight at once, mortal. Haha, <laughs> rad, rad. Later, sis. Be gone with you. Gnarly. Laters. Randy! Randy! Hold on, I... Falky! How'd you know where to find me? Oh, please. Trash is your element. Oh, where else would you have been? Okay, you've got me there. What are you doing in the dumpsters anyhow? I thought you'd lost this month's rent receipt. Did the Alpha Swan regurgitate the piece of paper? Not exactly, I just... Figured I'd at least squat here till Bunny figured out I lost the receipt and inevitably and immediately kicked me out. Oh please, what would he even do? Throw you in the trash? Well, he could he could start incinerating his trash. Wouldn't that be a nice change? A trash sauna. Nah, saunas are typical steamy and moist. The flames just evaporate the moisture away. 
It'd be more like being trapped in God's in God's fuck sweet fireplace. Which is still a step up regardless. Oh hey, you wanna come over to mine, by the way? There's a large list of pros and cons for that idea. The main pro being, I'm no longer in a dumpster, and the co main con being, I'm at the mercy of the pawn dinos again. I didn't exactly quit the swan wrangling gig just to willingly spend my days at the hellhole for free. There's another pro! And what's that? Getting to spend time with me? Oh, like that's a pro- I, I mean... We could just spend time here. I heard that! Now come over here to mine or I'll castrate you! Fine, jeez, jeez, okay. What's so important that you need to, me to go to yours so badly anyways? Okay, so don't freak out, but... I went and spoke to Madam Mediocre. Randy. You okay, bud? Don't touch me. I'm frightened. No, Randy, it's okay. I begged and groveled and wept, and... Oh, nice. Those things are all hobbies of mine. SHUT! Sorry. <clears throat> anyway, I convinced her to undo your curse. W what? You sure she's really on board? Because I don't feel too dear- I was getting to that! Sorry, sorry. Continue. <clears throat> She gave me instructions to perform an uncursing ritual. Guaranteed to remove any bewitchment, hex, or magical ensnarement. She... Huh. I mean, I'm not unwilling to try the ritual, it's just... You really think it'd even work? I don't... I don't want to get my hopes up just so it won't hurt quite as bad, but I'm inevitably let down by her. Oh, come on, listen to yourself. You think she can curse you, but can't uncurse you? Surely if she can give curses, she can take them away. Well, most human adults have the means to throw a petrol bomb at your house. But a very small number of those people could just replicate your now, your now destroyed house. Come on, Randy. Would you do it for me? I mean... I'd do it anyway, since it'd probably be dying alone in this dumpster, but... Wait, what exactly does that ritual entail? It's better if, it's, if, it, if that's left to a surprise. For magical reasons. For, or for Randy may very well flee if he knows what's coming reasons. <coughs> ah, fuck it. Fine. Fantastic. I've got the ritual ready to go in my tent right now. Are there, like, candles involved? I mean, it's magical ritual. Of course there's. You have, like, candles left unattended. In a fabric tent. Oh, please, we both know the outside of my tent is too moist to combust. Rain and pond water, my dear. Come on, let us go now. Huh, very, uh... Is that, uh, hanging meat? Yes. Handles, hanging meat. Boy, how lucky were you were that the exact ingredients needed for the ritual would all be found in a dumpster outside Bill and Dave's Candles and Mystery Meat Emporium. Y yeah, I... So, Brother Randy, are you ready? But Brother Randy? I don't like the implications of that. Silence, mortal! Okay, that's more that, that what I'm used to. It's, yeah. The ritual will cure you, don't forget. Or so the orb saith. Wh what are you talking- why are you talking like that? It makes the magic work, work better. I've seen it in the movies. But my initial curse wasn't in the old English. Have you ever performed an exorcism, Randy? Not recently, no. Then sit thine ass down! Not literally, though, as the ritual is starting now. Uh, okay. What's step one? Uh, I... You need... To... Uh, are you improvising? N no! 
What are the candles for then? Step one is... Falky. Lick the candle! Why would I... The orb, Randy! It shows no mercy! Place your tongue upon the melted wax. You will know the joys of having wax-coated tongue. What tongue? All right, maybe that step wasn't important. Step two, the magic words. Do you know the magic words? You do know the magic words, don't you? Yeah, they're, uh, Latin. Do you speak Latin? Valley speak taco halvo menu. I believe taco descends from Latin, right? So, uh... Chantus! Bur Buritum! Uh... Tacoium! Pizzium! Okay, that one is definitely just Italian. Roman dudes, pizza dudes, baguette dudes. They're all stinky Italians, damn it. Let me say mumbo jumbo. Or do you want more bad luck? Sorry. <clears throat> Vendi, Veni, Vidi, Volupti, Futo, T, Ipsum, etc., etc. Uium, Are, Curstium, Curium, Curium, I don't know. What? You're here, bitch! I- my curse! CURSE! GONE! GONE! GO BYE-BYE! It- it's gone? Just like that? Well, the change was inside you, dear. If your luck is based on the likelihood of good or bad events happening to you, wouldn't that make my luck very much outside- THE CHANGE IS WITHIN YOU! THAT IS THAT! I mean, I- Randy, you seem so fretful about this cosmic hogwash. And it now that you have a cure, there's something that you aren't telling me. Well, I... Look, let me be real with you. I'm not actually certain that... that the curse is the only reason that my life is so unbelievably cruddy. I mean, it's nice to look at things and say, oh boy, the whole world seems to be really crummy right now, but... At least I'm not responsible for any of it, you know? You know, th that... While I'm a failure in every possible way... That if one moment had gone differently, that things would have been... Would all... Uh, would all be fine. Meaning that nothing is really my fault deep down, you know? Do you understand? You aren't a loser. I certainly feel like one. So, about the whole getting my life back on track idea. Randy, if you want your life to get better, you actually have to take some kind of risk. Like bungee jumping? What? No, like real risk. Like laying eggs in a public place or marrying a swan queen. Or getting a new job, perhaps? Oh, right, yeah, that, that'd do it all right. But I don't know, I mean... Who'd hire someone like me? And besides, how would I even get in touch with anyone without putting them off with my unkempt physical appearance? If only there was some way I could contact potential employers without showing up in person. My head is the phone. I'm just now remembering this. Gah, you just made me remember my, about my head. Weird head too. Weird. I would suggest the carrier pigeon, but I'm sure that works too. I really shouldn't have forgotten that, since until recently the voices of aroused delinquents would emanate from my skull, all talking about their. Okay, fine. I guess I I guess I just willingly rep repressed all that. Who should I even call up anyway? I have one business card in my possession, located in my back pocket. It is our last and only hope. Well, wh whip it out. That Dial Town Carnival! The comic stands means we're having fun. We have rides! Hot dogs! Clowns! 
forget. Don't know what that says. I just found. I just found the laziest Pokemon rip uh, rip off advertise on YouTube. I feel like I know what you're talking about. Post a picture in the dis Discord. I might know what you're talking about. I might have seen it. Are, are they? Are they? Uh. I think they're like asking like for like developers or some some kind of like people to help develop it or something. I mean, if you want to make like a like a like a I don't know like a spoof of, of of a game or something, go right ahead. But I don't know that. Eh, whatever. I'm too much in of a in I'm in too much of a goofy mood to say anything smart right now. Okay, I think this is where the whole egg laying idea came from. I don't know. I know. I mean, that font on a business card? Do I really want to work for these kind of people? Consider swans. Sold. All right, we'll go somewhere less tense to make the call. Do you mock my abode, Randy? No, I merely insult it. To mock it is to make light of something. <clears throat> And there is nothing n innately hilarious about these living conditions. You are a gentleman and a scholar, R Randy. Sent it. Let us now bench. Alright, it's ringing. It's... Hello. My name is Randy Jade, and... Yeah, that's right. I am the dude who got caught shoplifting already discounted soon to expire lunch meat from the 24-7 gas station over on the intersection at- <clears throat> uh, I mean- Nope, you must be thinking of a different, less confident Randall Jade. Uh, okay. Reassure to ape noises. How do I- how do I do this? Okay, I'm probably gonna make a fool of myself. <laughs> okay, that was awful. I'm sorry. So, well, why am I calling you? I'm calling you to, uh... I'm calling you to tell you why you should give me a job. Well, why should you hire me, you ask? Oh my god, I didn't... Falky, what do I tell the... BIG BONES! I... You should hire me, sir, because I've got large bones. No, I'm not saying that I'm fat. I just... I've got thick, sturdy bones, I guess? No, I'm not a caveman, and I do recognize that. I have rejoined. Sorry, I left earlier. That's okay. Oh. Yeah, I am indeed a functioning human. Yeah, I do also have all five of my senses relatively intact. Yes, I can work nights. Oh! Nice! No, sir. Thank you. Falky! I got the job! Wow, that was... Phone Bones. Is that the name of the character from, um, the comic series Bone? I... I once tried reading that, and I was just confused. And then I tried reading it on Wikipedia, and I was more confused. And what I mean by reading it on Wikipedia, I mean, like, reading the concept. And it's... I mean, the concept is interesting, but it's... It's different. It's new. And, it, and when I say it's different and new, it's really different. Really lucky that we... What were the odds of that working? Luck doesn't come into it. Apparently, Jerry just got fired for letting some scary looking customer charge right into the fun fair this morning without physical restraint. Resistance. Guilty, su guilty sweating and murmuring. <laughs> well, wh wh what are we waiting for then? To the ticket booth. Away! Please do not bang on the glass, it scares Randall. Well, here we are. My new post. Let me tell you, it feels really nice knowing that if any swans appear within near striking range of me, they'll all have my coward glass to protect me. And the only way in is through the locked door on the side of the hut. You, didn't, you don't think a swan could learn how to work a door handle, do you? 
Well, if a velociraptor can. Best lock the door from the inside, just in case. H, 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 H. Oh, hey, you know what the best part of all of this is? Apparently, the boss says I get to sleep on the floor of the hut because that way I'll, I'll have to listen out for noises at night because of my general sleep anxiety. And he's not to pay me for working the night shift since I'm just using my herbivore survival mechanic at my workplace off duty. It's a win-win. Symbiotic exploitation. So, it looks like you've got some place to sleep then. But I have curios curiosity, if you work at the fun fair now, does that mean um, you have the keys to enter at will? Oh, sure. I've even returned to the to the, to the site of my of my uh, accident. Mostly just to throw the madam mediocre machine in the dumpster. Oh, to prevent future lawsuits. I actually, I just don't want think I could sleep in the, in the booth that with that with the, that thing outside. I need to drink more water. So, I just tossed the thing out. Wait a moment. I passed the fairground dumpster on the way here. There was nary a mad madam in there. Oh. Not our dumpster. Don't you worry. I found just the other now empty dumpster for her. Who? Who? Who left this? Who left this thing in my dumpster? Randy, did you do that? Teehee, the mouse that ate the cheese. Okay, no idea what that means, but, but heck yeah, justice. Mmm, water, yes, dihydrogen monoxide. Yeah, this is, that's the correct chemical formula. Oh, man, the, the memories. Hey, I even found the hot, hot dog I got for you during our date. The one I dropped after witnessing you laying your e egg clutch, you know? Can I have the hot dog? I, I mean... You know it's been on the ground for the last 48 hours, right? Oh please, I've eaten weeks of old roadkill, road kill, so cough up. Uh, Falky, don't move! Oh hey, a swan. Falky, I I've seen enough dinosaur movies to know. These things are the descendants of T-Rexes, so if you don't move, it can't see you. Randy, you're sweating heavily. Ten dollars says it can smell you through the glass. Wait, really? How come you've never tried that at work then? I I could never stop shaking. I don't know, man. Looks fairly docile to me. Why don't you fe feed it the old hot dog that you found on the ground? Make love, not war. Worst case scenario, it'll reject your booth hot dog and just waddle off. Well, I guess I can. Well, that was horrific. Did it die? Huh. I guess the swans of the park were just hungry? Well, who'd have thought it? I mean, they were trying to eat you. Yeah, but I figured it was like a maliciousness thing. I've never heard of anyone trying to maliciously devour someone else. You know what? Yeah, I've never heard of that either. Let me just reorientate my batty legs. Did you know bat legs are backwards? So I can't sit in human chairs because my knees bend the opposite way. So imagine a human having backwards legs. Yeah, and also if people try to ch chase me and I run, right? My feet, my footprints will face backwards. So they'll think I'm running towards them. Big brain. Trust me, man, creatures tend to eat for nourishment, sport or sexual gratification. Ah! Wait, would praying mantises fall under that category? I don't know. Yeah, it's... Wait, did you just say sexual gratification? 
Dear Strandall, you're far happier not knowing. R right, right. So your whole whole bunch of stick is done then? I'm I'm happy for you, Sug. I'm sure Jerry is too. Thanks and wait. So if I'm here, then uh, where did Jerry end up? You see, okay. Don't worry, Randy. I'm, I I made sure that he's well taken care of. What? What does that mean exactly? Nothing. Nothing. I just don't think Jerry's gonna be bothering us anymore. Why does that sound so ominous? Falky, where's Jerry? Somewhere he won't be seeing- somewhere where you won't be seeing much of him anymore, winky face. Somewhere far more peaceful. Well, specifically? Oh, well that's just- well, well that sounds just lovely! That job's gonna mail him, him right out. Yeah, pff, I know like four shepherds. If anything, he's qualified for that- for the position. Wait. Why'd you give him that job and me this one? Why not just cut out the middleman and give the shepherd job to me? Oh, please, you want a farm? I, I don't understand, Randy. Horses bite, Randy! Okay, yep, I understood now. I gotta go, I'm so sorry, wish I could stay, but I got home, bye-bye. It's okay, don't worry about it. Thank you for coming. And let's, and let's not forget Turkey, the tasty and angry cousin of Swankind. They look like shitty peacocks. I mean, turkeys are pretty cute, but they're like, they're like emo peacocks. Mom, come pick me up, I'm scared. Well, with Madam getting thrown out, Bunny getting fucking flattened, my poverty being cured and my curse being revoked, I guess that means each and every loose end has been really tied up. Nobody move! Nobody f Fucking move! Ah, darn it. Consequences, I hate those. That's right, you bandaged schmuck. I told you that I'd track you down for not getting me off. Uh, how'd you even find me anyway? How'd you think, bozo? I searched every public place in this dumpster fire of a city. Every shop, every park, every gazebo. <gasps> every gazebo? Each and every one. This is this is literally the last public place in the city that I hadn't checked. I told ya that I'd, that I'd find you, and I. Wait. Were you pantsless during the whole search? Did you literally walk around the entire city of Dial Town without any pants on? Yeah? You bet I did, n Nimrod. Some paper pushing printer bitch called the fuzz on me for violating the bank's dress code. Alright, that's one of the people you can date. No shirt, no pants, no service, bullshit! I, that's... My god, you really are the most pathetic person in Dial Town, aren't you? NOT ANYMORE! Uh oh. I've got one bullet, and by phone god, am I gonna use it? That sounds like a great plan, except... The glass is bulletproof, you know? Ah, shit, really? Bulletproof, huh? Jeez, for a place with rides that kill people every year, you guys go really go out on employee safety, don't ya? Yeah, my new job has its perks. Ah, well, don't you worry. It's all good, G. I'll just shoot what's what's their face. I'll just shoot what's their face instead. No, not me! What? No, wait, you can't do that! I mean, I totally can, Bozo. Since you, I've, I, I actually got a bullet this time. I will claw your fucking face off. I will snap- I will snap the, your blade head off and shank you with it. But please you- you can't! Randy, shh. Don't beg. It's okay. I've had a good life. I've made peace with my demons. Ow.
the fuck is this? Okay, I, I don't believe any of that actually happened. Ah, shit, you're right. My life was horse shit. Ah, to hell with it. Mugger guy, just do your thing. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. There's an orchid scarum rumored to have beaten a man to death with his own severed arm. Oh. Ah. Uh, it, I, is that a swan? Ah, oh, shit. What's the, this fucking thing doing so far from the park? It's a swan. Attack. Why did that even work? You fed it a stale hot dog, Randy. You're a dad now, like it or not. Huh. I, I guess swans can seem kind of cute when they're not trying to pierce my jugular. Hey, before we wrap up, can you come outside for just a moment? From behind my beloved py Pyrex force field? I, I have something to give to you. Can you slip it through the slot? Just come out smelly. All right, all right. So, what is it? Well, I found something else in the dumpster. The same one I found the candles and the dumpster meat in. Candles, dumpster meat, and something else valuable enough to give to your boyfriend as a gift. My, what a beautiful, bountiful dumpster. What is it anyways? Let me show you. Is that a... A band-aid? For Randy? I don't understand. My biggest wound. My pride. It, it's been fixed, right? What else could you possibly... Your forehead, you cretin! The band-aid goes over your bandage. Oh, I see. That's the nicest thing anyone has ever done for me. Thank you. Just need to make one little adjustment. Oh god, you're writing something on the bandage? What are you gonna write? Something so destroying and really mean spirited, something encouraging. Uh. Check my reflection in this puddle. Wait. It's a tough guy? Are you? You're not making fun of me, are you? What? No, no! But I'm not. A oh, please. You think any scallywags. Wait, you think any scallywags, ne'er-do-wells, or hooligans are gonna mess with a bandage-certified tough guy? Bandages don't usually just say things, you know. I know you can prove the bandage right, Randy. I believe in you. I... Thank you, Falgi. For everything. Ending where things work out just fine for our dear friend Randall Jade. Okay. <sighs> that was a long one. I didn't expect it to be that long, especially since it said demo. Um, well that was fun and cursed in so many ways. This was a good game. I like this game. Um, I might play more dating sims. If- uh, I already said this, but if you guys want me to actually play a serious dating sim, let me know. But I'm probably just gonna play joke- joke dating sims. I think I have one called the Ratchelor, and it's rats. 